Well, hello guys, isn't that nice music? So nostalgic. Let's begin with the uh, let's play. Probably have to deal with the uh, oh no, we don't have to deal with the cut, cut scene copyright bullshit, so that's good. And so let's begin our adventure with Andy's house. Also, if anybody wants me to, I could try to replay through, because this is the PlayStation 1 version. So if somebody wants me to, I can try and play through the Nintendo 64 version. Uh, I did try to play the PC version, but because my computer's Windows 10, we're in 2018 now, it didn't exactly want to work. So if someone can teach me uh, or get it to, or help me to work it, I will definitely consider doing that as well. So let's begin. Holy shit. Okay, so yes, I will just say, first of all, this is an emulator on the PS1 emulator. Couldn't be bothered. I do have this game on uh, PlayStation 1, and I think you can buy it on PlayStation 3 as well, technically, um, digitally. I am Buzz Lightyear. I come in peace. Yes, yes you are Buzz Lightyear. And we do not need to know that information either. Okay, so let's start by collecting these, these coins. Do we need to read these? Do we really need to read them? If you see the push icon, you can run. Oh, I just did that. <laughs> So yeah, if and if you don't want to fall off, don't be an idiot like me. I'm using an Xbox 360 controller, by the way, as well. So it's kind of super weird that I'm playing a PlayStation 1 emulator with an Xbox 360 controller on my PC. Not yes, this is the true way to experience Toy Story 2. <laughs> I can't remember when this game, I think this game came out in 1999 originally, I'm not sure. Um, I don't know the history that much of the game, but I will look into it in the next part. I do love this music, always have loved this music. You can jump onto the zip lines to slide down them, press jump to let go of the line. No, fuck off. Well, what the hell? What the hell? Why am I over here now? I am what the hell? I was over I there, and I jumped up to hit the information icon, I ended up over here. Okay, that's... Now I can't get onto the rail. Okay. Let's collect these. Lovely. You can target your laser by using your visor view. Press the L1 button to activate the view. Then press the R1 button. Now for me, that'll be like the LT. <laughs> so it's like all different buttons. Target. There you go. If it actually does it. There we go. And we're... We've now grown up. <laughs> Buzz Lightyear is literally a home wreck. He's destroying people's uh, people's houses. Or kind of like their baby will fall out of there and break its break its neck because of Buzz Lightyear now. What's her name? Molly. That's it. So let's let's do the attic first. Get the scary shit out of the way. Listen to this. RC car is waiting to race you around the garage. He is through the hole of the door, Buzz, downstairs. <laughs> Fucking awful impression by me there. <laughs> 12 coins already. We're on a roll with these coins. Okay, shouldn't... Uh, camera's gonna... Yeah, <laughs> camera actually worked. Okay, let's push this box first, because we're gonna have to push this box to get up onto the top... The top of the attic. So, the attic and then above the next level of the attic. Okay, makes sense. I'm always bad at this, so do expect me to fail a few times trying this. Um... <laughs> Oh, no, oh, I can't sit. I made it. <laughs> I actually made it and I couldn't even see. Okay, not bad. Good work there, Connor. Yes, my name is Connor, by the way, if nobody knew. Oh, his fucking head exploded. <laughs> Terrorist. Oh, this light is um a bit... I can't tell if that's buggy or not. Is, it, come in peace. is that meant to be a sun? What is that supposed to be? Is that meant to be a sunset? Or You see, because I've just played it. Well, I didn't play, but I just tested the Nintendo 64 version. And the Nintendo 64 version had really good graphics compared to this. But this is the way I remember playing it. So, you know, stick with what you know, I guess. What you loved. Alright, we're on 21 coins now. <laughs> Buzz's face here he looks like he's just being jizzed on or something. <laughs> oh, okay. Instantly ported me. Ha 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 ha! Defeat the tin robot to get a token. Why don't you fuck yourself? <laughs> Just wear him down. The trick here is to wear him down. I didn't actually charge up my laser for some reason, so that was stupidity from my part. Come on, matey. Come on. Oh, you tired now? Ah, oh, well, take some laser. That'll wake you up. <laughs> Fuck you, motherfucker! Fuck you, big boy! 
Uh, fuck your whole family. Fuck your whole robotic mechanical family. This should be it. There we go. <laughs> there we go, guys. We got our first pizza. Our first. Our first. <laughs> Our first Pizza Planet token. Buzz, if you could, for fuck's sake, stand looking at... He's camera shy, guys. He's camera shy, apparently. He he won't even pose with the dead body. <laughs> he won't pose with the exploded remains of the robot. Okay, now, yes, do not click exit level, because I have done that before. So if we can jump straight down, ready? Uh, whoa, damn! Oh, and I just killed Rex as well in, in the process. Fuck off. Don't need to know any information. I want to work it all out myself. True, true game. Whoa, true gamer. Now I think there is some glitches in this level. I really wish I could remember how to do them. I do want to kind of do everything legitly, but maybe I'll when I replay through the game or whatever, I'll do the glitches in either the next playthrough. I also want to go into speed running as well. I do want to do that. So this is Andy's lip. This is Andy's living room. Oh my god! How can you? Don't be that bad, Connor. Seriously. All right, and we have to do a stomp here. Boom! Fuck yeah. Cool shit. Oh, we found uh, Mr. Potato Head's ear. <laughs> oh, look, we found Mr. Potato Head's dick. His wife's been looking for that. <laughs> oh! Got under you, you mate. Fucking try that one. I think you need 50 coins. So if you've ne if nobody knows what this game is uh, or anything about it, I've got to collect sheep for Bo Peep. I've got to collect... Uh, items for Mr. Potato Head, so he unlocks things for. So he unlocks things for you, and pit a ham. I keep saying pig. I'm such a fucking retard that he needs 50 coins because he's a Jew or something. So, gee, how do you get? Wonder what this book is, eh? Wonder what this book could have in it, other than. No, <laughs> we didn't do that one very well. All right, we've cleared the living room. Let's do the garage. Oh my god, what a jump. What a trooper this guy is. <laughs> how, how, how am I missing this? Oh, there we go. Just Sometimes it's better to just spam. Even though I don't like being a spammer very much. Let's do the mechanical shit first. Or whatever this is. This place is very unsafe. Not just for a toy, but I think for people in general. Oh my days. Now I'm slipping about on oil. Yeah, this this house needs to be health and safety inspectors or the council or whatever you have. I'm British, so we have the council. If your house is not safe, you you play blah, 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 blah. big old jobs worth, you know. Oh my god! And now he's grabbing the top of it. Oh, just dodged it. Oh yeah, just dodged it again. Oh oh no, didn't didn't just dodge it. All right, let's make this. All right, so now that's down, we actually have the ability to re-climb if we fail. And I missed a coin, somehow. Aha, the green laser. The most OP. Now, this game would be cool online, actually. Saying that, this game would be very cool if it had, like, some sort of co-op element. Or, um, that was close. Yeah, or just multiplayer in general. What's this? I've actually never read this one, ever. If you jump at the horizon... Horizontal bar, you will swing around it. Press jump when you have high, okay. There you go. Didn't make a pig's ear of that one. Or or a Mr. Potato Head ear. Camera, the fucking camera in this game. And because I'm using an Xbox 360 controller, I can't really <clears throat> control excuse me. I can't really control the camera very well either. Oh yeah, then the skills. At least I did this. Well, not my first go. That would be that would be a very big lie. Okay, so the oh, I got fifty coins as well. Sick. That one coin I missed definitely made up for it. Okay, so the glitch here is when you talk to R RC. I think that's his name. <laughs> Bit weird name. That you can climb up here as soon as you challenge him. The moment you challenge him, come up here like this, and then come here, and then just jump. Go uh, like this. And it will skip the laps, so you don't have to run around the car. I'm obviously not going to do that, because uh, I want to play properly, because I'm MLG Pro, I'm a pro gamer. Hi, Buzz, I challenge you to... I don't know how he would sound. Hi, Buzz, I challenge you to... How the fuck would he sound? He's a car. 
Hi, Buzz. I challenge you to a race. We will race three laps around the... Oh, wait. He doesn't sound like a robot at all, does he? He sounds like a, a car. Like a... Go, vroom, vroom, vroom. That was awful. Anyway. Yep. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, I'm already... <laughs> I'm already stuck. Oh, yeah. You can stand in front of him like that, and that sort of slows him down. I don't remember there being this many enemies, though, in th this garage. I might be wrong, though. So, yeah, you just stand in front of him, and that should do it. He gets slowed down by that hose, <laughs> like that. And this oil spill, which is very convenient for me. Whoa. I'm trying to, he's trying to bum me now, which I'm not happy about. Almost, almost done it. So, you can do it without glitching quite easily. Oh my god, he's right behind. Okay, there we go. Also, yes, parents, uh, this is not exactly a child-friendly playthrough, so I will be swearing and saying rude jokes and whatever. So if you put this on for your kids, don't. <laughs> Unless you don't mind. Probably should have done a disclaimer or a warning. But, you know, that's how I roll. Oh, yeah. Hmm. All right, we'll do the kitchen. We'll do the kitchen uh, first. If I was to speed run it, I, I literally cannot remember lots about this game because it was the last time I played it was 2012. Now, there is a glitch here. Okay, there is a glitch. It takes a bit of, of time getting this right. But you can, if you keep clicking the button as quick as you can, might not work because I'm on an Xbox 360 controller. And it's shit. Some, it will grab that, it will grab that ledge. I can promise you, if you do it enough and... I don't really need to collect these coins anymore. Fucking hell. Andy's mum, what are you playing at? You've, you've literally left every appliance on in the house, you freaking moron. I love the way... I, I'm sorry, guys, for the sexism there. But I love the way I instantly assumed it would be Andy's mum. Oh, wait, yeah, but of course it would be. No, I'm not being sexist. He doesn't have a dad, does he? Oh, um, that was not supposed to happen. <laughs> Nor was that. How the hell am I supposed to do this? He doesn't jump... He doesn't jump almost high enough for that to... He doesn't jump freaking high enough. Come on. Okay. I'm, 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 hang on. I might have to stamp on it. That makes sense. Uh, and not miss it. There we go. Yeah, just stamp on it, guys. Right, we need one more. We need one more. <clears throat> oh, I'm busy, bow bitch. I think you can get that sheep also in a quicker way. So this. Let's go talk to Mr. Potato Head. Wow, thanks, Buzz. In return for finding my penis, I will let you use the cosmetic, cos, cosmic shield. It will only protect you from harm for a little while, so make sure you use it wisely. It must be a condom. No, I don't. Didn't want to talk to you again. Okay. Oh. Yeah, only going to work for a little while, and I've already wasted a couple of seconds, so that's, that's good. There's more coins in this game than there needed to be. I'm already on. I've already nearly maxed them out. So yeah, you need that shield to cross through the toxic sludge or whatever the hell that is. Look at the size of these nails. Are they are they really accurate in size when you really think about it? Like, I don't see why nails would be bigger than Buzz Lightyear. So you can get on here and you can pretty much get to that Buzz sheep Lightyear. over there. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do it legitly. Oh my days. Oh yeah, you have to run up here a little bit. There is some strategy there involved, I remember now. Oh, we don't need... <laughs> oh my god! We, do... we don't need to go over there, Connor. So let's go back. I don't know why he did that. Okay, it would be cool if you could instantly jump. Right, hang on, maybe you can. Oh, maybe you can. No, they, they must have thought of that. Yeah, they thought of it, the pricks. Oh, goddamn, developers, you and your you and your thinking ahead. So just push these like this. That should uh, get them to... This isn't, by the way, a um, walkthrough. This is a playthrough, but I do know a little bit about the game, so I'm going to help people out a little bit. But don't expect me to be um, an absolute pro, because I've never completely properly finished this game. This is the secret Pizza Planet token up here. Okay. Okay, let's quickly do this before we get... No, I knew that. I knew that would happen. No. Oh my god. The... No, are you... F I see. I'm going to have to glitch it now, guys. Oh, by the way, you don't really need to care about the toxic slows that much. If you are doing want to do a speed run, do not worry about it. But I, I say glitch, but let's speed run it. Let's, let's try and speed... This basically what these things are, is speed running. 
There you go. So let's go talk to Bo Peep. Oh yeah, you always have a race mission as well where you have to beat something in a certain time. I'll be honest, I'm not a massive fan of collecting in video games, but in this game it it is just it works brilliantly. Okay, here's your sheep, bitch. It's all right. Give me my pizza, which I can't even eat because it's made out of cardboard or whatever that's made out of. Let's give Pig his 50 coin, 50 shekels. And I believe, guys, we are done. So. To infinity and beyond. Okay. Right, we got there. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. and yes. Oh yeah, you have a boss, you have a secret pizza player token, you have a race, and you have five collectibles and 50 coins. He wants risked his life no, to save no, me. no. <laughs> I'm sorry, Buzz, but copyright, I'm sorry. <laughs> I would love to show you guys it. I mean, you can on the Nintendo 64 version, because they don't actually have cutscenes, they have stills of text from the movie. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yeah, let's begin. Andy's Neighbourhood. Oh, that jazzy, funky music, guys. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Laser party, guys. That's guy. Anyway. Okay, so for some reason, we have a rogue lawnmower. Once again, and his neighborhood extremely unsafe, just like his house was. Oh, here we go. Let's get these soldiers. So you basically, <laughs> you basically have to sadistically stamp on them and burn them out of their hole. Really kind of fucked up when you think about it. Um, you just have to guess which one they're in. Oh, no. Get lost, matey. Thank you. Du, du. Whoa. Whoa, fuck yourself. Oh, wait. Health doesn't... Okay, it's actually... Fo I think it's actually following me. I don't remember that happening before. I thought it was just on a stuck, set, scripted path. Apparently, I'm wrong. Burn, baby. Burn, baby. Oh, R. R. Lee Kelly, or whatever his name is, that guy that died recently, the one from Full Metal Jacket. <laughs> I think he was the one who voice acted him, so it's kind of fucked up when you think about it, what I'm doing. There he is. Come here. Gotcha. <laughs> Aw. He even, had, he even said yes. Wait, there's a coin. No. I don't know how I didn't get hurt there, but okay. I'm not going to argue. Now, there is actually a glitch for this where you can beat RC without needing uh, this. And basically, the way that you do that is you pretty much just stand in front of him. That's it. You just keep standing in front of him and uh, hope that he doesn't get in front of you. It's very risky because you have to do that for three laps. So, yeah. If you really want to uh, risk it, you can. I'm going to try and do it legitly when we come back. So, let's uh, kill this motherfucker first and, and ja jack up the car tyres. Oh no, actually deflate them. I don't know what we were doing there, to be honest. It, does everyone have blacked out windows, like, because they're from, like, the C the CIA or something? Like, every window, like, is more blacked out than the car windows. Also, one thing I do love about old video games, which I'll probably talk about in every playthrough I do, is just the backgrounds. You know, not, not many people take enough time to admire backgrounds in video games, even though they look terrible. There's just something magical about retro backgrounds. I can't put my finger on what it is, but I do like it. It's like artistic, maybe. No time to lose. Let's push this. I freaking hate this bit of the game, to be honest. This bit here coming up when you've got to go on the washing line. <laughs> okay. Uh, and instantly fails, see? I'm, I'm not good at this bit. <laughs> Nor is Buzz, because he wasn't he won't grab it properly. And you have to and you have to change your direction really quickly as well. There's probably a way to speed run that bit or glitch it, whatever you want to call it. No, you can't actually jump over the the clothes. And you can't actually apparently grab it correctly either. Can you buzz? Can you buzz? Buzz? You fucking moron buzz. Come on, grab it. Right, there we go. There we go. There we go. That was nice. Oh, there's a green laser down here. There we go. Got the green laser as well. So we've done whatever that bit was. Let's clear the ground level first. Let's do the ground level stuff and then we'll work our way up to the tree house. Because the tree house is obviously the best part in my opinion. Oh yeah, that's a good point. I forgot to mention, uh, what was your favourite part of Andy's house? Leave in the comment below. Also, what did you think of the music? And what was your favourite Pizza Planet token that was in that level? It's just a way for me to engage with you and find out what you like. Without sounding too creepy. <laughs> and without failing. That put me off. <laughs> I put myself off there. Da, da, da. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, that's the other thing about this game is things have to be very specific. You can't, you know, jump too early or too late. You have to have the exact right height. 
to be able to do it. Okay, that worked. Didn't I actually know you could do that? Fair enough. Push that. Before we fall off like morons. Collect two coins! We're almost at 50. You can give them to Ham soon. These shekels that he requires. Yeah, we need this battery. Get some health. The batteries are health, if people didn't know. Oh my god, jeez. Yeah, this music is brainwashing them. All right, let's try this again then. I don't think I have to do a jump. You know, you don't have to jump. You just have to not be a moron and fall off. So, and there we have another soldier. Yes, sir. Would you like to blow me? Yes, yes, sir. Would you like to blow Buzz Lightyear? Looks like my controller has died, apparently. It's glitching up. Hang on. <laughs> At least he can't drown, eh? No, it looks like uh, the controller battery's gone. So I'm going to have to quickly pause this and charge the uh, control for you guys. And we're back. For you, it was only a few seconds. For me, it was about an hour or more. Just check in. Battery medium. And I've got 50 coins. <laughs> now, do not make the mistake of trying this. Because you can see it don't work. You have to stamp on it like this. A few. Jesus Christ! How many? How, what? There you go. I was gonna say how many fucking times? And then on here, and then again. Boom! And we are done with the secret. Oh, I think that's the secret one. I'm not sure. Can't remember. That might count as one. But now we have 50 coins and we are ready to go up the top of the treehouse. That's one thing I've never, ever, 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 ever had in my life is a treehouse. I would love one. I got. Oh shit. So I guess for now, this game will have to do. <clears throat> Buzz, over here. Need some shekels here, Buzz. <laughs> There we go. Thank you, Ham, for the Pizza Planet token. So, yeah, he's just there, so you can't really miss him as you come up the, the rope. Let's just skip all these enemies as much as we possibly can. And there's our final soldier guy. Cool. We'll go and put him in when we finish this. Oh, shit. Epic save. Oh, my God. Definitely double jump there, apparently. Okay, this is even harder now. There's fallen acorns that you've got to watch out for as well. Just saying. I do have the green laser as well, so this should be a little bit easier. But here we go, guys. We are now fighting the evil emperor, Kite Zerg. Shit, it's, it's Zerg Kite. <laughs> Stupid fucking name. But yeah, I just said it. I made it up, and apparently that's what he was called. I said I said um, Zerg Kite, but I think it's Kite Zerg or something, isn't it? I got it around the wrong way. So basically, what you have to do here is wait for him to do this spin thing. I think. Oh wait, I'm doing the spin thing. And then you shoot him as he comes towards you. But you can't shoot him as he's coming towards you in the spin form. So you have to do this. Woo! Come on, big boy. You go fuck yourself, big boy. Yeah. Oh wait. Oh yeah, I can do. There we go. I forgot that was. <laughs> I forgot what I was supposed to do. I was making it more difficult than I needed to. There you go. So we're done with that uh, boss as well. Let's do something rather fun here. Hang on, we want to do it from the highest point. That's not the help. Oh. Oh. Still not on the... Still not on the complete edge. Oh, shit! Dunk! <laughs> He literally didn't even break a muscle, a bone, a sweat. Wow, Buzz Lightyear. Holy shit, that looked cool. <laughs> oh my days, that was like a cutscene. Um, okay, let's go hand in the... Uh, we couldn't do one pizza man token, which is this one. So let's go and hand in the soldiers to whatever the sergeant name is. Sergeant Toy. Actually, what is his name? Does it say his name? Bravo! Great job locating the troops. Here's your pizza plant token, man. No, I didn't say his name. Oh, well. 
and we will exit because we have done everything we possibly could. Yeah, so you can, we need to have the rocket boots for this, uh, for the one that's missing. We are going to be doing Bombs Away next. Why not? Why not? Let's, let's, do the, let's do the trilogy. Now this is always, as a kid, this creeped me out because this wasn't in the movie. So this was like, well, obviously the kite wasn't either, but I was like, well, okay, this is pretty cool. Get in, get in this. Oh, I did it. Yes, yeah, sick. Okay, what you do is when, okay, I ain't got the green laser now. As soon as he comes flying towards you, what we want to do is um, just jump and try and shoot him. But then obviously he's going to try and shoot you as well. So, oh, wait, I'll try and use the green laser. Oh, missed. Come on. Oh, come on. Get back here, you. There we go, son of a bitch. Oh, I don't understand why don't understand why that didn't work. God, he's a good driver, isn't he? Must be Japanese or something. There we go. Boom. Fuck your bitch. And he just goes off into the void of numbers. Boss defeated. And we are now on to Construction Yard. This is probably one of them levels I love and hate at the same time. As a kid, it used to fucking terrify me, especially when you get to the top of the construction yard. Some of it's a bit tedious if you fall off and that sort of thing. It can be kind of annoying. So without further ado, let's just get this level over and done with. And we'll probably have to skip the cutscenes like always. Which is a shame because the bonus movie, uh, the bonus awards in this, for bonus points, is the movie clips. So I don't know how they do, what they do for the Nintendo 64 version. What do they give you instead? They give you something different? Ah, oh, that music. And we've got the green laser, green laser straight away. Can't even speak today. Yeah, the reason why uh, the control dies so quickly, I think, is just the battery pack might be on its last legs or something. I don't know. But yeah, hopefully that will hold up a bit longer and I won't have to quickly recharge the fucking thing. And so, yeah, we've got to find four of them little guys. And here is Pam. So let's just murder these guys. <laughs> I can pick up the co the coin pickup detection in this is not very good. It, there should have been some kind of feature that allows you to have coins come closer to you. Really thinking about it, because even as a kid that annoyed me and it annoys me now. So it's not oh you know because some people think nostalgia and that sort of thing. Like, oh you only like this because of nostalgia and that. Well that's not true at all. I don't like um, these games at all because of nostalgia. I like them because they're a good game. They don't. Let's put it this way. These games don't have bullshit DLC. They don't have even though you kind of want them to have DLC. So you have more content to play through they don't have oh shit they don't have they're, they're finished they're a finished product they're released working fixed and finished and it, you don't have to download anything you just get the game you get, well unless you're downloading it digitally but at the time that wasn't available and bam you've got a game you've got a fully working functioning game with all the gameplay in it and no bullshit dlc or microtransactions or whatever other cancerous garbage there is in, in the video game uh, industry nowadays um, so and th to think that this was published by Activision as well I don't think it was developed by Activision I think it was published by Activision so how far they have fallen you know especially this year's E3 shows shows kind of how far that happened I mean look what they're doing the Black Ops 3 maps for example you know it's just just sneaky tactics to get your money and that's the reason why I love old games not because of not because of nostalgia just the time period it feels as if this is when people made games for the love of it that's my opinion now this is going to be fun because i am not good at knowing my colors and what to do so you've got to drag this pot and fill it with paint so let's just let's just wing it let's do red and then blue let's see what we make i do not know what my, what colors make what i'm afraid so uh that's purple yep so we'll take that to the end this is a bit tedious i must admit a little bit boring for people watching so i do apologize about that i'll try and make it as entertaining as possible so now we'll do red and yellow as a kid, I used to really struggle with this, but I always used to do it. Like, I struggle mentally, like the idea of it. Yeah, that'll make orange. Okay, so if we've done them two colors, I guess we'll just try blue and orange then, and hope for the best. Or did we just do blue and orange? Can't even remember now. I literally can't even remember what we just did. No, green, okay, we've done it. There you go. Garrett. <laughs> Sounds like my step, uh, my dad when he's talking to my stepmom. <laughs> He goes, Garn! That's exactly. Fucking hilarious. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm sorry, but inside jokes. Now you're aware of it. It's funny. If you knew my dad or met him, you would find it fucking hilarious. Oh, I can smell dinner downstairs cooking. Mm -mm. We're having 
a Sunday, ro a Sunday roast on a Tuesday. Yep. And I also just went in the garden and picked some strawberries that we've been growing. So we've, for the first time since we've lived here, since 2015, we're actually growing stuff in this kind of big garden. So if you guys actually want to see the garden, I've got quite a few videos, uh, uh, private or unlisted, that you could uh, look through if you want. And actually, let's to try to do the down the first layer stuff I always try and do stuff in a in an order I don't know whether that's OCD I don't know whether that's because of, I've got autism I don't know what it could be but I'm gonna do it in order fuck sake pick the coin up buzz seriously okay we have to get wrenches don't ask me why wrenches suddenly appear in the middle of nowhere but they do I actually used to struggle with this as a kid like struggle what to do and where to go for it but it's actually really easy don't know why I used to struggle with it, to be honest. I think it's because I didn't jump through the thing. I used to walk through like this like a freaking idiot. That time goes down pretty quickly, though. Oh, well, there you go. That's the first Pizza Planet token done. No, the second one, sorry. I just forgot we did the paint. The funky jazz, nighttime city life music. Yeah, this shit is fucking awesome and catchy and annoying at the same time. I don't know who's losing all their money. Someone's losing all their shekels all around the place. Okay, you can't apparently climb that, even though that looks like it definitely is something that you could climb. Out of here! Fuck off! <laughs> okay. That controls the... Actually, I don't know if I should have done that. No, I shouldn't have done that. It trolled me. I remember that. I remember this happening before. <laughs> Deja vu, pretty much. Oh, maybe... Maybe it has to go down. So you can jump on it, and then it will come back up again. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Well, that's uh, lame. Okay, jump a little bit this time. Oh my freaking god, it didn't jump. I pressed the button and it didn't jump. Alright, there we go. I don't ever remember it being that difficult before. Struggling with stuff I should be struggling with. Ooh. Move, thank you. <laughs> uh, move in a way where it doesn't injure me, please. <laughs> and now we've got... What is wrong with this city? The whole city's fine. It's not just Andy and Andy's mum and Andy's neighbourhood. It's the whole fucking city's gone crazy. Oh, I think I'm going to sneeze now. <laughs> oh, God. Uh. No, no, it won't come. No, no sneeze is coming. And that does that platform. So now if we fall, we have a way of getting back up. Don't take the risk. Don't take the risk. The coding of this is so brilliant, though. For its time, the way that the platform that you're standing on actually moves is absolutely brilliant. Should we take admire, uh, a, a, a chance to admire the, the, the art of the background? There you go. <laughs> That's over. <laughs> now it's time to murder again. I'm Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger, Universe Oh, Universe. oh I thought he was going to miss. Never mind. I tried. We need one more of them little guys. To be honest, I don't think I've I don't think I've ever really found all five of them. I've never really tried, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try and 100% this game. This playthrough, I want to 100% it. Let's put it that way. Hop dee hoppity skippity doo. Boom, there we go. And we only need about seven more coins and we'll have 50. Okay, oh, well, we found the source of the. We found the source of the ticking! We found the. If anyone knows that Harry Potter meme. We found the source of the burning hot nails flying out trying to kill Buzz Lightyear! Yeah, they don't look too uh, normal. <laughs> Oh my god! How was. What just happened there? Oh my god! <laughs> Dude! Let's quickly get away from here because I know that there's. There he is! No, it's not. <laughs> oh, it was, a, it was a thing for Mr. Potato Head. Actually, we will need to go back down before we get to the top. Oh, Jesus Christ! Let's go back down and see Mr. Potato Head. Thank you. It'll basically open up a disc launcher or whatever the hell it is. And you don't have to come back down here after you've run out of the disc launchers. There is some up on there, which I also didn't know. So that when I played, I kept coming back down to get more and resetting it. Because I'm a fucking moron. 
feet are now sinking into the platform. It's not a good sign. Uh, come on. Where's the platform? Where the hell's the platform? Where the hell is it? Wait, do I have to... Oh, wait, I have to jump round. Okay. Oh, what? What? Oh, co guys, come on. You saw, you saw that there was a perfectly massive sized gap there to go through. So there was no excuse for that. And I didn't even see that platform there. So that was, that was lucky. I'm going to have to jump around the whole thing. Jesus. Oh my God. I forgot I had the disc launcher on. Oh my God. You better grab it, Buzz. Wow. Wow, did you see that? He literally fell off the edge. He fell off the edge for no reason. Is it going to crush us? Is it going to crush us? No, no, it's not going to crush us. And I'm going to have to wait. <laughs> wait a few seconds. Jump. Actually, let. wow. Okay, land on the actual platform this time. Don't go over the edge. Let's refill our disc launcher. I'm just checking now for the little guy. I don't know where he is, the fourth one. So I'm just looking for him right now. See if he's up here. I think he might be up here. Let's get some health as well. I'm not hearing a little... Over here! Oh, he's probably right on the edge of this platform over here. Makes sense, to be honest. Yeah, there he is! Well, I'm trying to grab you, but you're not interested in me picking you up, apparently. At least there's a load of health here, but I'm, I'm, I'm using up all the health before I've even fought the boss. Stupid. All right, here we go. Oh wait, hang on. There's more disc launcher uh, stuff here. I think. So this, uh, if it, I don't know if there's a max capacity. Okay, we've got 28 now. That should be enough. But this boss used to terrify me as a kid. I mean, look at it. Look at the, look at its face. The jackhammer boss. And then it chases you, and you're like, oh shit. And it has some, and it shakes the camera and the speed and all that crap. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm still scared. <laughs> I'm still scared of the fucking thing. I don't know if he'll stop at a certain point. Okay. Well, that didn't work. Or did it? Wait, he can't probably go here. Can he? No, he can't. I'm Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger. Universe Protection Unit. <laughs> Oh, there we go. <laughs> Note to self, guys. Spam. All right, so we've got two more things to hand in after this. So let's go down and let's see if we can land straight on him. Should we see if we can do it? Let's see if we can do it. Oh, my. oh no. Well, that'll be the end of that. I was miles away anyway, so that definitely is the end of that. Here you go, Mr. Piggy. Thank you. We unlocked the disc launcher, so now we permanently have that in our arsenal. Alleys and gullies, level five. Okay, so let's get rid of them, because they'll just keep spamming them. Yeah, I've just got kami kami cam kami kamikaze into. Not quite sure why this water is uh, formed like a snake. They definitely give out the green lasers a bit too easy in the later levels. Like, in the first two levels, you actually have to kind of find them. Now they're like just straight up there at the beginning of the game, which is a bit odd when you think about it. And this drain certainly isn't working very well. <laughs> it, look, the water is literally going around the drain. She obviously is looking for her little duckies. Oh, my baby ducklings. Jimmy Savile's had them. I'm sorry, that'll that will be the end of that. See, look how many that need. Look how many shots that needed from a green laser to take take it out. <laughs> Another thing I wish this game kind of did was not have enemies come back again. Like once you've beaten and defeated the enemies, that they would stay gone because they do become quite tedious after you've killed them, and you can't even get a coin from them, so they're just there to make your job harder. I feel like yeah, once you've defeated them, remove them from the from the, the game. Not like entirely, forever, you know, if you come back to the level, you know, they'll reset. But while I'm playing, why should I have to keep killing the same thing over and over again? Right, dodge the electricity current that is for some reason going across this pole. So even the, the people that are meant to do a job properly can't even do it correctly. There you go. At least, I don't think they come back though, I'm not sure. I think they stay gone. Right, so there's Ham. 
Uh, um, what am I saying? Oh, how nice of you to come down to my level so I can zap you in the face, motherfucker! There's one. <laughs> what if they got Donald Duck's brother in to do that? <laughs> to do that voice. Oh, we just found a life as well, apparently. Yeah, it was a life. That's pretty cool. So if you need to have extra lives, you now know where to go. Apparently, it doesn't have any droplets on the the screen. But then again, it's a game from the 90s. What can you expect? Would have been cool, though. Would have been a good deep. See, so look. Mob come back. Already. Only been gone like 10, 20 seconds. He's back. Oh, we've got a disc launcher. Yeah, we'll need this. We'll need this to beat the... Why didn't it let me jump there? What? Why isn't it letting me grab that? You guys can see this, right? Okay, look, look, apparently it wouldn't let me grab it. See, that's another problem with this game, which is sad, really, that it... it the, de the detection... The detection on jumping on stuff is just not very accurate, you know? Okay, the... Did it kill him? I think it killed him, because I can hear a coin. Yeah, it must have killed him. Yeah, let's get back up there then. Look at these melons, they look so fake. <laughs> they do not look appetising whatsoever. Okay. There we go, I don't know what that did. Oh wait, it does something with a. Oh, it does something with a balloon. Okay, hang on. Uh, apparently, balloons are self-tying themselves and pumping themselves and everything. That's a. That is incredible, and we're now dodging enemies. <laughs> and we're done with that pizza planet token. So let's try and get on. Can you climb up here? Yeah. Nope. <laughs> you can. If you don't get fucked up by these little guys, can we get right to the... No. Never mind. So we need to try and get on top of the umbrella. So we need to go back. And it didn't work. Okay, I'm going to get more disc launcher stuff just in case we can't get back up there. Because that guy might reset. I'm not sure if they'll reset or not. And for some reason it doesn't grab the ledge. I have no idea, guys, why it doesn't grab the ledge. It just doesn't. It's just not detecting it. Honest, I'm not doing that on purpose. Look, I I'm, I couldn't be more directed. It's almost like you're not meant to do it this way, but of course you are because it lets you grab it. So whoever developed that, they must have literally tested it once and they must have got it perfect that one time they tested it because there's no way that had proper testing, that part there. Yeah, and that he did come back, so that was a good idea. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> There we go. Oh wait, there's a duck on there. Okay, so that's where the other duck is. Oh, this is fucking pants. Look at this. This is absolute shit. Oh. Oh my god, it actually did it. I wasn't expecting that to work the way that just did, so that was good. I'm not actually sure if you can find all the ducklings on your first go through this game. I'm not sure. Because I feel like you can't get everything unless you... Um, have the rocket boots or something in this level. It's something in this level you need something to get everything. Like you need a gra I say a grappling hook. You need a grappling hook for this level, and it will help you get up to the higher levels of the city. So basically, that like up here. And I almost had all the coins, but I guess not. So we will have to come back here. Uh, there we go. Thank you. Where are we going next? I must admit, the music in this level's good. The design, the map design of this level is quite good, but it's not my favourite level at all. Um, can I jump up here? Probably not. Probably can't do that yet either. Yeah, look, here you go. The grappling I was correct. Or the... What is that? Power pack. Well, I guess they're basically toy extensions for Buzz, like, that they bring out and, you know, technically for gameplay, for gameplay-wise. You have to get Mr. Potato Head to unlock them. So what are they trying to say? Mr. Potato Head created these things? <laughs> okay, there we go. Push that first. That was an actual splash effect there. That was pretty cool. There we 
go. I make that sound every time. Now this bit is very tedious and you guys are probably thinking, oh no, Connor's going to be playing this bit. We all know what's coming here. We all know how bad this is going to be. So I'll try my best to not be bad. Okay, so there. this is actually really easy. But I think the game knows that you're meant to do it like this. Because when I was a kid, I used to try and climb on the platforms to do it, like to get the stuff. But all you've got to do is that. So I have no idea if that was actually how this was originally designed. But if you fail once, it's over. So Okay, so we've got the Pizza Planet token. Now let's head over here. Whoa. Preferably not get killed trying to do that. Don't know. Oh, okay, there's one more little duckling here. So we've got three now. We just need two more. Let's check under the water, actually, as well, just in case there's some under here. There is a life under there, apparently, but... Uh, no, the ducks would float, wouldn't they? They wouldn't sink. That'd be fucking fucked up. Yeah, so they're not going to, you know, they'll be, they're not going to drown because they're literally designed to float, so... Unless one had deflated a bit. <laughs> uh, where to go next? <laughs> That's what, that's what makes me think that you can't get all the ducklings at once. There's probably some on higher platforms or something. I'm, uh, unless you can get up on top of that box. But I don't think you can. Because I always remember trying to find all the ducklings, but I never could. And I think I know the reason why. It's because you have to come back here after you've uh, completed the game. Whoa. Okay, there we go. And we're done, I believe, with this. Well, as much as we possibly could. To infinity. And, and beyond. beyond! And he hits the umbrella. <laughs> he literally just slams into the umbrella. That was... So that there's the... time. We did the time trial one, apparently. Oh yeah, the time trial was the one with... What's the dog's name? What the hell's the dog's name? Scamp or something? I can't fucking remember. Slink, that's it, Slinky. Could not remember his name, Slinky. So he was, Slinky was a time trial. The balloon one was probably the question mark. But obviously Ham was the coin one. And look at the creepy boss. Look at the creepy boss. Most kids never got to face that boss because they never really completed the game or they never thought to come back after completing the game. Because you, you can only fight him once you've unlocked the grappling hook. So we only got, we're, we're going, we've got five there and three. <laughs> it looks like I gave up. I didn't. I tried, I tried to find the duckling. It's just stupid. Okay, so yeah, we'll, we'll do slime time. We'll, we'll continue, we'll continue slime time. Now, my brother joined me one time for co-op commentary gameplay of this. And he always found this hilarious. So hopefully I'll get him in next time for the playthrough of it. So let's just have a look around to, to take it in. Because I've never really looked around. What's that over there? Oh my god, that's creepy. I've actually never, I've never once ever looked over there. Wow, they've actually done quite a lot of detail. Considering there's even street lamps on. And for some reason, there's a car blocking the, and there's lightning and thunder. I've never You're stayed. Me, aren't you? There we go. Let's do it. Did I pick up the green laser? I can't remember if I picked up the green laser or not. You basically have to spam the button here. And again, come on, come on, come on, spam it. Spam, there we go. Fap it, come on, fap. Take the hits, take the hits. Okay, you can take three hits, no problem. Let's see if we can take four hits. Look how big he's got now. Oh, yeah, he's so big. He's so big. Oh, he's so big. Oh, my God, you son of a bitch. Oh, green laser, green laser, okay. No. Green laser makes no difference on the slime man. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. There we go. Oh yeah, fuck you. You motherfucking slime ball, grease ball to motherfucker. Infinity and beyond. Probably getting the movie award that I can't show you guys. So no, we're not, we're not watching the bonus movie. We're skipping that. I'm sorry guys, I would show you it, but YouTube and Disney and Pixar and all the other pricks, they won't allow it. Uh, even though they included it in their game. Then again, they probably never thought something like YouTube would exist, so uh, can you really fault them? So we've got 17 pizza player tokens now. So without further ado, let's just get in because I cannot stand all those kids' noise. Actually, I'm going to open a window a second here because I am getting bloody hot. I am getting shit. I am getting, I'm getting copyright strikes. 
Um, hang on, let me just do the curtain a bit. Oh, there we go. I should have done that really before recording, but there you go. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, yeah, Texas music, boy. Oh, yeah. I think this is Texas music. Is it Texas music? <laughs> or is it barn music? I don't know what I'm talking about half the time, guys. Don't question my logic. Now, this level, I absolutely love this level in my opinion. I love the music. I love the uh, fact that we unlock the power boots in this. Also, I do apologize if I'm spoiling stuff for you guys. I don't mean to spoil things uh, but because I've played for it before. It's kind of like I already know what's going to happen kind of thing. So what order should I do this in? Okay, the first of all, let's destroy, destroy this shit. And apparently get hit with, even though I was shooting directly at it. So there's a lot of me in here, which is pretty cool. Um, okay, let's, actually there's a boss. Let's do the boss first. Uh, uh, I'm hit. I'm trying to take, I'm trying to kill you. Do you mind, game? Do you mind making my job that much more harder than it needs to be? Of course you do. Check around the corners. Oh, there's a battery. That's pretty cool. Oh, I can hear a little chick. I can definitely hear a chick noise, wherever he is. I'm guessing we also can't. I think you need the hover boots for this part of the game. That's another thing with Traveller's Tale games is a lot of backtracking. Oh, I'm a pole dancer. Well, I and instantly teleported again. I think we could argue that this boss is a little bit too easy. Alright. Uh huh. Alright. Uh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're gonna. We're gonna put his limb. To just make it extra fucked up. Apparently, you cannot walk on the sludge, but apparently, you can push him there just fine. Then again, he is dead. He's not really gonna feel it, is he? And that was the first token done. Is there a way out of here, or do you have to go back the same way you came in? Yes, you have to go back out the same way you came in. Up. Oh. And the miss. Fuck you. Okay, let's try in here now. I think we need the disc launcher for this. Uh, apparently I need to have good coordination as well to know to... Oh my god! Right, where are you? There we go. Let's get your coin. God, it's pathetic, guys. It really is sometimes. Uh, don't you start glitching out. Okay. Well, I'm literally, yeah, I guess I'm literally right here. How's it not targeting it? Okay. There we go. Nice and easy. That's the thing about me, guys. I'll either suck really bad or I'll do really good the first time. There's never sort of an in-between. Oh, my God. Some sort of input lag I had there. Was some, I just definitely just had input lag. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, get this. Apparently, that didn't injure me. Thank you, game. Thank you, game. I landed straight on him, and it didn't injure me and knock me off. I can't, you know, fault you for giving me an easy, give, give me an easy time with that one. Well, now I've got the window open. There's a slight breeze, and it's banging my door, so I have to go lock my door in a minute. Uh, okay, let's go talk to Mr. Potato Head. And we've unlocked the rocket boots. Here we go. Buzz Lightyear two. Oh, oh shit! It's on fire. <laughs> okay. Double jump. Yep. Do I need another double jump? No. Am I gonna double jump here? Maybe. <laughs> All right, I know what I need to do here. I think I know what I need to do here. Okay, that is not what you need to do here. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm missing now. And I'm missing again. 
There we go. And I'm voice cracking. My voice is gone. I've gone insane, guys. This game has turned me insane. So I have to do this anyway. So I've got to do this again. Great. And now I'm stuck. Double jump. Wait, what the hell? Wait, what what the fuck? What the hell? No time to lose. I what I thought the egg was gonna open up. Um Okay then. Let's have a look at what this information thing says. The hay barrel wheel will button you over to the chick on the gumball machine, but it will stop if you leave the area and lock the rocket boots and jet over to the puzzle. Um, well, I guess that actually was a helpful hint, but I have no idea how to unlock... I've literally forgotten completely how to unlock the egg. Oh, wait, hang on. No, I know what I need to do. Keep the chick you find in it. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Let's, let's become teenagers and start skateboarding. Gives you a bit, a lot of time here, in all honesty. Like, I'm pretty sure the other one was like... See, look, look at that, look. How easy, how much time we had. Unless I did that in record-breaking time. Almost got crushed by the eggshell. Okay, so let's move on to the next area then. So that's that done. We've got two little chicks. Holy shit, the store's alive. I only, I knew toys come alive. I didn't know that the uh, basketballs could also come alive. I never knew that was there before, so that was something I've just learned. And apparently you can walk along here as well, so how cool is that? Though you may get hit by apparently balls coming out of nowhere. And I still failed. Oh wait, we have to push this, I think. Yep. There we go. Uh, I think that you'll see in a minute. Yeah, look. Oh no, they do hit. Okay. Normally they don't hit me. Normally I've actually managed for them to not hit me when I'm doing this. But apparently this time around, no, you're going to get hit, Connor. Apparently the game says no, fuck you, fuck you and what's happened in your past, you're recording, so everything that you're saying is going to be proven wrong. That's not what, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh fucking hell, that made me, fucking hell, Jesus Christ that made me jump. Fucking hell, all I heard was a brrrr and I thought it was outside my window. Oh dude, dudes and dudettes, oh, the stress, the stress. I might not make it through the end of this playthrough guys. Okay, so we need one, two more. We need two more. I need two more coins as well. All right, this music's starting to annoy me now. <laughs> okay, one. Oh my days! It does take away a lot of your health hitting that shit. To be honest. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna keep failing. I'm such a Jew. Oh my days, I'm on fire. I've had too much of that chili. Now i got explosive diarrhea. God, fucking hell, I actually work. Okay, where is, actually is this guy? Quickly, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up, get up and down with the sickness. <laughs> I think I missed something in that other room, actually. I think we're going to have to go back. I think, I'm definitely sure there was more to this room. There we go. Dodge everything. I can hear a little chick. I'm coming, little chicks. I'm coming to save you. Boz. Boz is here. Boz is here to... S to try and get through a tyre without falling. Well, if that's the fourth one, where's the fifth one? Oh, I've got to go through all this again. If that was the fourth one, where's the fifth one? That's the thing, this game is so confusing. Like, I, I can't tell now whether I, to get the fifth one, I need to have some kind of unlockable, which kind of makes me think I do. But there's that bit where you float. The only way I know is if I can hear it, but I can't get to it. Because it's kind of proof that... Why is the rocket boots not unlocked in here? Unless they're not rocket boots. Oh yeah, they're hover boots, aren't they? What's he saying? The chicken has lost her chick. She has just passed the bike section, Buzz. Uh, it's on top of the boxes in this room. You'll need the hot... Fuck... 
fuck's sake. So yeah, you do need the hover boots. There's there's no way to be able to get it unless you have the hover boots. I just don't bother with the collectibles until you finish the game because it's just stupid. And apparently I missed a timed one as well. I didn't even know that there was a timed one. So I'm going to have to obviously go back and try and find that one out soon as well. Um, one by one. In this, you can't do them all at once. I get the fact they wanted to give re replayability to the game. I do get that and I do like that. But it doesn't give you a clear indication on if you should go for it or not. Oh yeah, you can collect them in this level. Oh no, sorry, you might have collected four. But you need to have the hover boots to get the fifth one. It's like a fucking major troll. Let's do our space land. Oh, no. So we're on level eight, our space land. We're getting... I wouldn't say we're getting close to the end of the game, but I'd say we're close to some of the bits in this game that I quite enjoy. All right, let's do the boss first. Actually, let's clear the room first. Clear the room. I absolutely hate this level as a kid. Stuff like this motherfucker here. There you go. That's how you beat him. You have to do a spin dash, which I didn't know, obviously, as a kid that I had to do. So that was uh, quite annoying. Yeah, you just push this box here, get up on here, and then you've got this fun, daunting task of climbing up all of this stuff. Yeah, I do apologise about the camera. <laughs> How the hell are you supposed to get that life over there? I'm not bothered, I'm not going to bother getting it. And I thought I wasn't about to get that, so... Okay, here we go. Oh, oh shit, I just wasted some of my... Wasted some of my green laser! Buzz is gonna get fucked up with a missile! Oh, it's Kim Jong-un! It's Kim Jong-un, Buzz, Buzz style. Though, though, they have made peace. Trump has managed to successfully get North Korea to be peaceful, which no other president has been able to do. So I'll give credit where credit's due, and also to Kim for, you know, uh, wanting peace. So if Kim Jong-un, you're watching this playthrough, please don't kill me. And apparently that did not seem to work properly. I'm sorry, clone Buzz Lightyear. I'm... Oh, wait, he's still alive. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry that you're still deluded. Unlike me, who's free. I'm free from all control of being a toy. And if you couldn't tell, this playthrough isn't exactly for kids, so... Don't really know who this playthrough is for, to be honest, but like, yeah. <laughs> so it's even got like a a game within a game. Oh, I hate this bit coming up. This will probably absorb about 20 minutes of the playthrough. What the? What the fuck? Dear, oh dear, guys. It makes no sense why there was a major gap there. Oh, that's, that sound hurt my ears. That did. I didn't like that very much. You can fuck off and all. And that's probably to stop us from... Okay, so this... This is not fun. Let me just say this much. This is tedious as fuck. Right, hang on. Take it there. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, it needs to go over the le uh, right. So go right, please. Go right. Go right. Go right. Okay, there we go. Please get it, please get it first time. Please get it first time. No. Yes, it did it. Holy shit. It took me 10 minutes in, in my 2012 playthrough to do that. Fucking hell. In, in spe speedrunners, speedrunners hate that part of this game. It is, it is such bullshit. Okay, oh wait, hang on. We, got the, we pushed the cup down, didn't we? Let's go back up this way. If, we, if that even works. If we could even get back up this way. Oh. Hang on. <laughs> oh, 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 God. Sorry, game. I will not slander you again. I, I'm sorry. I'm, dr I'm drowning. Oh, oh, God. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> that's cool. Oh, I can smell dinner, guys. I can smell dinner. It's, re it's close. It's close. Dan is like, yo, oh, yeah, I've got balls coming out my ass. Sound like Duke Nukem. I'm not even supposed to be here. Yeah, I knew you were coming for me, mate. I ain't stupid. Oh, why does it have to do that? Why does it have to do that bit where it 
where you're all dizzy. It's just unnecessary, okay? Unnecessary game. And now I'm being attacked by tennis ball cannons. If my day couldn't get any worse. I love it when it drops my inputs almost. If you hear me clicking a, bu a button, a, bu <laughs> a button really hard, you'll know why. So you need this because you're about to get laser fucked by about a million buzz light years. <laughs> Dodge him! Come on! Let's do this! Just made it! Just made it! There we go. Uh, no, I didn't just make it. Now I'm being... What the hell? What the fuck? Why is this happening? Oh, you're meant to go on here. Okay. Uh, get up, please. Do not miss, thank you. Do not. Okay. Oh, I think I missed. No, I did it. Wasted two shots. How many coins have we got? Oh, I need one more coin. I need one more coin. Please be around here, coin. Oh, come on. Oh, okay, thank God you can actually push that box. I was going to say, don't you dare do that to me, game. Don't you dare. At least we know where he is. Look how fast he is. Why is he so fast? He's bigger than me. I am going to go back, guys. I'm going to go back and do it. Just to get it over and done with. Game. Thank God for the green laser. If it if it works, it's not if it hits now. Now let's do a race. This is a zipline race. It's only one lap. The end sounds like Teletubbies. If anyone knows what Teletubbies is, that's the exact sound it sounds like on Teletubbies. You sort of have to jump. Oh, I've failed it. Oh, you, you can stamp as well. Apparently, that's cool. So yeah, you have the, the the red, the red tape on the rope is kind of the indicator of where you have to jump. And I instantly failed that time. I'm getting some practice in. Nah, you can't even couldn't even catch up. I will get the green alien though, if I can. So it wasn't a complete waste. We got the green alien. Oof, that was close. Fucking hell. That really was close. <laughs> oh my god. But it's, you know, I've got input. Oh my god. I've got input delay. I've got ADHD. I've got Asperger's. Slight autism. And... OCD. It's a great, it's a great combination. But I also don't like giving up. One thing I can't stand, which is giving up. Okay, I might be able to do it now. Probably not. There you go. This motherfucker's just ahead. Just ahead. No, no, no. Did I do it? I did it! Fucking hell! Talk about close! What? No time to lose! What? What? Fuck right off. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. The game glitched me off the platform. It's a waste of my time. Waste of your time. All right, focus, Connor. Focus. Take your time. You're not in a race. You're not in a, ru uh, a, a rush. Well, you're not in a race. Oh my God! Fuck this game. I guess you do. Come on, I've got one last one to get. 
There we go. I am so sorry about that, guys. I am so sorry. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, I'm back exactly where I spawned, apparently. Oh, there's, Zer there's Zergs. No, they're not, are they? Oh, there's Zergs and the buzzes are fighting and I'm just caught in the crossfire. I guess that kind of makes sense. Oh, maybe... Oh, okay. Oh! Really? It was right there all along. I must have gone straight past it. Fuck off. Thanks for finding Alien Spars. Here's a Peach Planet token. Oh, my God, guys. What did you think of this part, guys? What did you think? Did you think... Um, what was your what was your favourite part of this level? What was your least favourite part of there? My favourite part of this level was the boss fight between me and other Buzz. My least favourite part was that rope shit. That was fucking atrocious. This is a boss battle of Toy Barn Encounter. I actually quite like this boss to some degree. I think for its time, the boss design and the way that it was created was very, very good. Mayday, Mayday. Come in, it's definitely the most advanced boss we're going to be fighting against. The Jackhammer, Kite Zerg, nothing compares to this one. Oh wait, I'm going to have to shoot off the arms, I forgot. <laughs> and then they give off a little enemy for me to uh, destroy. If I can actually attack it. Apparently I can't. I'm just spamming now, guys. I'm just spamming to hit... Oh, you got to hit the... you just got to hit it, and it'll... I don't know if you can attack it multiple times, or you just get rid of... No, you have to kill the enemy it drops. Okay. Oh, you just have to really stand underneath it and shoot upwards, I guess. Oh, we've got two, have we? We've got two of you fuckers. Sometimes it's good to just take the hit and not give a damn. Not long now, guys. Not long now. We're waiting it down. Oh, we got one of the the Hoover toys. We need to give names to them because I don't know if they've ever been officially named. Oh, we got Hoover, and we've got Robo Duck. <laughs> why is it not? What I have, guys. I've got no idea why it's not hitting the targets. There we go. Let's get some health. The boss music in this isn't that great, in my opinion. I feel like... Oh, oh, it's picked up. Sounds a bit like drum and bass now. Like this. I'm pressing circle. There we go. <laughs> I was pressing circle. we got one left. No, one's got... We've got... The, the, we've got one hit left. <laughs> oh, my God. That other one just... Don't you fucking keep trying to dodge, prick. Come back here. Come back here. Come in sight of me laser beams, thank you. You dodging motherfucker. If they sent out like 20 of these on you, you'd be literally fucking screwed. I'm going to try and get underneath it, if I can. Okay. And bam. Oh no, I think uh, dying resets. Dying might reset it. Got one hit left, I think. One hit left. Please do not die. <clears throat> I've just made it worse for myself. Oh, thank God. I, I, I do know how to make things exciting in a roundabout way. Not on purpose. I don't mean to do it on purpose, guys. I literally try and do it as easy as I possibly can. And yet I still manage to fuck it up. Oh, my God. I forgot all about this level. Oh, God. Maybe I can... I don't want to accidentally load a different state. That will really piss me off if I accidentally do that. I, I want to try and do it as legitly as possible. So if I fail, I don't, you know... I'm just going to let myself die here. <laughs> That's the end. That's the end, guys. That's the end of it. That's the end of this game. I don't know how this game manages to just annoy me so much. Even though I love it. It's one of my favourite games. So keep in mind, guys, I love this game. I love it. I, lo I do love this game. Because people might... Because I can tell that people are going to be leaving comments saying, Oh, you sound like you hate this game. No, I, I absolutely love it. Oh, my God. And if the water's electric, if the water's electric like it just was there, it makes no sense how a one little current would not electrocute you. Okay, that worked. Well, there's Ham. I quite like the music in this one. I do must I, I must admit, I do like the music in this. 
this level. It's not too obnoxious. Now, is that the mum? No, nope, that was one I was supposed to collect. And Mr. Potato Head. Oh, I know where Mr. Potato Head is, I think. Uh, Mr. Potato Head is... Oh, my stomach's now rumbling, guys. I'm so fucking hungry. <laughs> it's probably why I'm making so many mistakes, to be honest. There he is. We got the grappling hook! We got it! We got it finally. Let's see how buggy this is, ready? Damn, that's not buggy at all. That's sick. Oh. Oh, oh. Um, apparently there's snakes in these vents for some reason. Don't know why. Oh, I'm ju I've just used up a ton. I've just used up a ton of... Oh, okay. No time to lose. There we go. There we go. Nice and easy. Yeah, I might as well take out all these guys. Slaughter! Oh, the fucking hell, Rex just scared the shit out of me. What, what is Rex even doing up here? When you think about it, how the, why is he up here with a ton of snakes? Let's see what he has to say. You can activate the elevators by solving the wire puzzle in the control room. Okay, so I can't do the elevators yet until we've done this other bullshit thing we're going to have to do in a second, which you'll see in a minute. 360. Bullshit. Go, go, go. Go. There we go. Why does it not... Why is it not collecting the coins? I don't even think you need to to do a spin. You just have to do that. That's it. Okay. A mob's now taking more than one hit. Okay. Fire at him. Makes him stop. Then attack. Okay. So there's a pattern to that madness. Um. Uh. Oh, okay, the fan actually stops. No time to lose. So you just have to wait for the fan to stop. Okay. I don't even know why the fans are on unless it's to cool down the flames. But then why are the flames on? To be honest, guys, I do not know how elevators and stuff work. But if this game says that's how it's done, then that must be how it's done. Now, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys will know that one of the most tedious fucking things about this game, probably ever in this entire game, it's not the elevators, it's not the bosses, it's this little mouse that you've got to try and get here. It is unbelievably annoying in speedruns, in just anything, because the hit detection don't work. So I could be here half an hour, guys. I could be here half an hour. I could be here ten seconds, or I could be here half an hour. It all depends on how dewy this game maybe wants, wants to be. Oh, okay, there you go, never mind. Right, we've got to get them all level. So up one, and then, hang on, and then the blue one goes red, and then, green, and then, red, blue, oh you stupid motherfucker. Okay, so they're all even now. What? Oh my god, this ca I'm so sorry about this camera. There we go. And I think they put this here so you could see. Or oh, it's a bit, a bit glitchy. <laughs> but they put that there so you could see. So we need to remember that Mrs. Mouse is there. Oh, I actually got a pizza plant token for that. So that wasn't part of the actual hopping. Not hopping. What am I talking about? What the hell am I talking about? That wasn't part of the actual uh, elevator part. in the way when my laser goes. Oh my days. As you can see, the game is now moving much quicker. So this should save a bit of time in going up and down this bullshit. <laughs> oh my god. I'm just trying to get this one mouse. I need to get it, guys. I'm going to get the fucking thing. I don't care how long it takes. The noises it makes. It's kind of creepy. Wee, wee. Right, without the without the ability to do a frame limiter or the ability to not fail as hard as I'm doing. 
You know what? I'm actually going to do that for the last thing we do. Screw that. And apparently I missed it. And now I'm getting some slowdown. I, I've got no idea why that didn't want to work. Right, it's got bad hit detection anyway. You're looking at a game with bad hit detection normally. Let alone when you're actually trying to hit something and while falling. Oh, that didn't work. I, it didn't even do my input. Oh, it's, it's dropping my input now. Right, hang on. I've got analog on. Sorry. I couldn't even jump because I had <laughs> analog on. Oh, we don't want to put that back on again. Right, we'll skip the mouse for the time being. No time to lose. I, I've gone up and down the same bit for the last few minutes now. Fuck's sake. This camera. Okay. Can I jump on that one, I think? And then it should be plain sailing. Okay, now I should be able to climb a bit higher. Well, that's what I'm hoping for anyway. Not a huge fan of this uh, level, I must say. How high is this going to take me? I have no idea if elevators actually work like this, do they? Does anyone know if they work like this? Almost there. It's a shame I didn't get the mouse yet. And that is going to be something. That is going to be something that's going to annoy me so much. I know it. Oh, come on. Look how far down this has got to go before it comes back up again. Imagine if this was elevators in real life. You have to stand on these like little platforms to go up. What the hell? Okay. Let's talk to this guy. Oh, it's a race. Oh, I've got to catch the Pizza Planet token. Okay. I've, I've got to race it or have I got to catch it? Why why am I getting slow down? Why am I why am I slowing down? Am I supposed to go down some of these shafts as well or not? I have no idea. Am I doing it correctly or I guess I guess I did. I guess I did it correctly. Okay, now let's take the quick way back up there. And I've got to deal with this elevator hopping shit again. Wait, what? This was turned on. Wait, hang on, maybe the other side. Yes, thank God. I was going to say, what the hell? Jesus Christ. Talk about speed. Pretty sure we just did this. Alright, we ain't done this bit though. Oh, I thought I was about to fall then. Jesus Christ, this game. Oh, here's a boss. Okay. This boss is quite cool. I wouldn't say it's brilliant, but it's quite cool. I think it starts, yeah, it has like these lasers and spider webs. Yeah, here we go. Fans turn on and you can't do stuff properly and then it'll put down webs that you get stuck in. and Does a lot of damage. Yeah, oh no, you don't get stuck in it. It actually damages you from even touching them. Fair enough. Is there a real strategy to this? Not really. There you go. Just don't die. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, 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 no, no, we've been that side. So it's this side we want to go now. I'm getting really confused, like, because like the camera doesn't work properly, and then when I'm staring at something, it doesn't stare at it properly. So that's fun as well. <sighs> Basically, I'm talking about myself. Oh, okay. We do. We just need one more. We need one more. And now we're up here. I guess if we do fall. Not such a bad thing. This is where I should have save stated actually. You motherfucking. We can literally go straight back up to the top. Damn, look at this! To literally to infinity and beyond to catch a little mouse because I'm so shit at it. And now I'm. What? What, 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 okay. There we go. Oh, that wasn't as painful as it could have been. 
I think we might be done after this bit as well. I think. Yeah, it was the wrong one. It's alright. It, it's not alright. Because it, it's going to keep doing this. It's going to keep doing this bullshit now. Okay, there we go. Almost. Almost. There. Ah, oh, well done. Wait, have we got all the... We ain't done all the coins yet. Oh, that was a good thing. Good uh, good remember there, Connor. I need six more. So you note to self, collect the coins when you're way up on the elevators as well. Otherwise, you'll have to deal with this shit. Why did he not go all the way? That works. Okay, actually here. This is where they most likely are now. We need two more. And I have managed to pretty much do all this without save stating, I think. And there's one coin over there. There we go. And there's one coin over there as well, apparently, which I didn't notice. Ah, that's the ticket. There we go. I do believe we can now exit the level. To infinity. I think there's a boss up. <laughs> he just hits the he hits the ceiling. It's it's so comedic. It depends on like your last Pizza Planet token. The game, I don't know if the game developers ever thought about that, but if you like, let's say for example, you had got the last Pizza Planet token, exited the level in a more appropriate location, but when you do it in like a clo a, a roof that's really short, it just it's hilarious. So yeah, what was your favourite part about Elevator Hop? Did you like the music? Uh, what was your favourite Pizza Planet token? Um, what was your... Li oh, I got all five. Okay, that's pretty cool. What was your favourite thing about Elevator Hop and least favourite thing about Elevator Hop? For me, my favourite thing about Elevator Hop was probably the bit where you're swirling and you're going straight up. That's, that, to me, was so cool as a kid. Um, and my favourite, probably the boss, the boss fight. But that's about it, really. So let's now do... Oh, no, it's El Al's Penthouse. We are now on our spent house, so let's just get into it. I, I I would say that this could be this could be my fa to some degree my favorite level in Toy Story. I'm I feel like it could be. I love the music. I love the different rooms. I love the fact you can actually visit our spent house in this game. Uh, that there's Bullseye, Jesse, and all that. you know it's just it has that. It feels like Toy Story too. That's the point. Like some of the other levels felt like they were filler. You know what I mean? Like they're a little bit fillery. And as soon as you get to this bit, you kind of feel like, oh, okay, it's like Andy's house. That was cool. Andy's neighborhood, neighbor yard. That was pretty cool. Um, and then you start fear. And then I was, obviously, I was, you know, certain things felt like, well, how do we explain it? Certain things feel like they were filler and certain things feel like they were genuinely for the game, you know, like main story stuff. So this obviously is. And I feel like maybe they did their budget better for it. Now, one of the stupid changes that they had for this game, which it pisses me off, was that guy that I just killed, because he's Mexican looking or whatever bullshit the social justice warriors come up with. I don't know if that is the reason, of course, but they actually changed him to uh, Stinky Pete. They changed his character model to Stinky Pete, which was so confusing. I think that's the in Nintendo 64 version. So when I do play for the Nintendo 64 version, you'll see what I'm talking about and we'll see all the differences in that. It's just stupid. It's a stupid It's a stupid change that, if they've, that didn't need to happen because Stinky Pete is... You know, he's sort of like a one character thing. It's like having a load of Jessies attacking you or something. It's just stupid. These things kind of creep me out as well. I don't need to talk... I don't need to talk to you, but okay. She wants me to find stuff, and I do believe you can find everything in this... In this, uh, level. Though the cannons are not very fun. I think we've got to destroy the cannons. Yeah, this place is a lot nicer than Andy's house. To think, if you think about it, all this is is a penthouse, right? Now I live in England, so I don't. I live in England, so I don't really know if we have penthouses. I know we have flats, and they're garbage. They, you know, pokey, small, you know, cheap, crappy buildings that are made on purpose to be like that, in my opinion. You know, they're not. What the hell? They're made on purpose for the sole purpose of making you live like an ant, should I say? But if, you know, a penthouse is like this, it's kind of like a house, isn't it, really, when you think about it? It is a little bit like a, a, a house, but just less rooms. But they're big, they're spacious. Then again, this is a video game, Connor. Oh, well, as we've failed this multiple times for whatever reason, the oven's on. <laughs> Another... His house is unsafe as well. He's got can His house is more unsafe, in my opinion. He's got fucking cannons. He's got the, the stoves also left on. 
He's got people with guns running around for no reason. Snakes as well. I didn't even think about that. He's got fucking snakes. And birds. Well, I don't know why I keep missing that. And bam, there you go. Bye, cannon. Goodbye, cannon. You have to destroy five of them, I believe. Oh my lord. I need to go back up there. I've got to go back up there to get that thing, so. The ceiling's all glitching out for whatever reason. Over here. No, not over here. I've, I've, I'm done with all you lot. Okay, can we just bust a lot? Can we just bust a nut? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright, let's clear this room of its cannon first. Because they, they just get tedious in the end, these cannon shit. See, look how cool this the level design of this place is. It genuinely looks... Like, I know we didn't get to see Owl's penthouse, and I don't know how accurate it is to the movie. I mean, it doesn't look 100% accurate to the movie, in my opinion. But um, I'm, I'm, I'm actually alright with it not being 100% accurate to the movie. Because it probably wouldn't be this well designed if it was 100% accurate to the movie. Although I think Andy's house was quite accurate to the movie in this game. I could be wrong about that as well, though, so... And look, there's a green laser. Like I said before, like for some reason, the green lasers earlier were really easy to find. They were, like, straight up right next to you. Oh, this bit. This bit's going to be tedious. This is going to be freaking tedious as <laughs> shit. I wasn't even, like, there for more than, like, a second and I was hit with a cannon and knocked off the edge. Okay, cool. And I don't understand why I can't destroy the cannon with my green laser. Absolutely brilliant music for this level. I don't I honestly don't think they could have better music for this level. Let me know what you guys think. Or also, if you guys know any similar music to this level, I'd like to hear it as well. If you know like similar sounding music to this soundtrack. I also wonder if it's because it's emulated, be it's harder to see things. Okay, that's the cannon took care of. Now let's try not to fuck this up and let's try and jump straight over there and get it good. Wait, what is that over there? What the hell is that green thing? I have no idea what that green thing is. Must be just glitch. Okay, hang on. Here's a saint call that you guys might not know. Basically, you can get this. You don't really have to do this. I don't know why the game thinks you can. I I'm not sure if this is actually, actually even how you're meant to do it. It, uh, it must be, I've got no idea, but it didn't fucking work. Did it? Didn't look like it worked. Fucking stupid shit. Now, this part of the level is absolutely awesome. I do, I must admit, I do love this. I'm dr I've just drowned ham. So there you go. Or maybe I did that wrong. Have I done the order wrong? This would be scary as shit in real life, wouldn't it? <laughs> if you just click click the button and yeah, I think I've done it wrong, guys. Maybe I haven't. Hang on. Fuck sake! I remember this part now. This is that bit of the game. It just ugh, it's just so stupid. I have to empty the plug or something. Hang on a sec. Looks like my controller stopped working. Must be out of battery again. Great, I'm gonna have to go charge it. Uh, okay, that was wrong. Try and get that done as quick as possible. Well, no, I'm not gonna try and rush for it. Don't, don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna try and rush. Okay, here we go. Why, 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 why? Oh, hang on. Well, that didn't work. I right, actually it might have done, but it didn't proper work, did it? Right, let's destroy the cannon. Okay, cannons took care of. Good, good shit. And now we've just got one final uh, layer to fill up of water, I believe. Like I keep saying, guys, I'm having to play with a bad camera. You know, like I, I haven't got 
the ability to turn the camera myself, the game has to do it. So if I'm not standing correctly when that happens, I'm fu I'm fucked basically. You fucking bitch. Here we go. Now look at this, guys. Are you ready to see something stupid? Are you ready to see something stupid? <laughs> the water disappears. It's not just that though, that the water didn't come out through here, or did it? I don't know, we'll never properly know, will we, I guess? Right, so we're done with this part of the level, I believe, so let's... Uh, oh wait, hang on, we need to talk to Bullseye. We must find all the horseshoes. Now I'm probably not gonna do this first time, but I will try my best to do it as quick as I possibly can first time. Who knows, maybe I will do it. I've only got five seconds. Oh no, I fucked it. I fucked it. No, we just did. We managed to just do it in time. By the way, I did not do that on purpose, just saying. I am literally that bad. <laughs> now this bit is a hit and miss for me. I can't tell whether I like this bit or not because it's just kind of tedious. But you guys, you, you guys will see, you guys and girls will see what I'm talking about in a minute, unless I do it first time. It's well designed, but tedious. Whoa! No, I didn't, I didn't uh, miss that. See, look, see what, I don't know if it's because it's an emulator, but it just does not pick them coins up properly. Oh, yeah, cool, knock me off, knock me off even though I'm like, shielded by this giant train. Alright. Stomp the buttons to change the track point to make the train switch tracks. Get the train to go to the dead end so that you can push the box to the train bed to the beach to, peak, to reach the peak. Oh, okay. So we need to make the train reach the dead end. This might take some time, guys, because I have no idea what path the dead end actually is. That could be it. That might be it. I doubt it, but we'll see if I know. It's just, it's just slow and tedious, and I don't want to move the box yet, because if I move the box, it will fuck up, so we'll soon find out, won't we? Let's have a look. You don't want to be in the way when my laser goes off. No, I think it didn't. Hmm, we need to make it go on this one. So, let's hope since we've switched this, it will then do it. No, it's not the right one. Uh, still not correct. Aha, that should be it. That should be it now. I'm not even going to get to see it now, am I? Yes, that was. That was correct. Sorry, sorry, guys, that you didn't get to see that. Actually, I'll just show you here. If you already know. And the other one is that platform here. So you know what one it is to dead end it now. Hopefully that will help you out. And now we've got the enjoyable, most exciting, extravagant, cool looking box pushing action we've got coming right now. Fucking great. <laughs> yeah, you can't get me up here, mate. Donald Trump's building the wall. We're safe. I think we've only got one cannon left now, and that'll be in the other room. Let's get this token get these coins as well. Yeah, that should be... Oh, let's get this guy down here. I think he'll have the final coin. There you go. So that's that also done. Now we need to take this box back. I think. No, do we? I know we can push it over there, but I don't know if there's a point to it. And yes, there was a point to it, so I'm going to have to go back and get that. Alright, let's hope that no, uh, I say mobs, because I'm, I've been playing World of Warcraft for the last couple of days, I've got to almost 
level I'm on now. I'm almost um, level 65. Uh, it's, a, it's a private server. Shh, don't tell anyone. Uh, if anyone wants to know what server I'm playing on, it's if I'm allowed to even say about getting in trouble, it's Hades. I'm playing uh, Warmain Walt, Lord Rion and Ice Crown, and I'm playing Hades Catawell. So that's it. So if you want to play with me on there, um, just leave me a comment or whatever if you ever want to play, if you play on them servers or whatever. It's, they are private servers, so obviously don't brag about it and that, but yeah. As soon as um, World of Warcraft's retail Battle of Azeroth comes out, I'll definitely be playing that. Whether I'll let's play it or whatever, I'm not a massive fan of recording those kinds of games. But if you guys really want to see it, I might consider it. And I just got fucked. Oh, okay. Thank you, game. You actually helped me out more. Whoa, fuck me. That made me jump. Jesus Christ. I've always noticed that I'm really good at reactions when I'm when I made jump. Like, my reaction times are freaking insane. There's a lot of things Al has. It almost is kind of like all these things originate from Al's toy, toy house, whatever you want to call it. We still haven't destroyed that. Wait, there's two cannons in here. So I don't know if I'm missing a button. Probably am, oh well. Oh wait, here's the button. <laughs> I'm so, oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay, let's continue. Now this guy is pretty cool. <laughs> That cannonball was hilarious. Ha ha ha, defeat the gunslinger boss to get a pizza planet token. I don't know why he's talking about himself in third person, but okay. I can take the hits, mate. I can take the hits, there you go. Fuck you, teabag. <laughs> Should we teabag him, guys? Oh, teabagging. This is old school teabagging. I just dropped a cannonball out my ass. <laughs> Let's destroy this cannon. There you go. And we got a pizza planet to. Well, hang on. I've just destroyed all the cannons. No time to lose. If I've destroyed all the cannons, where's the pizza planet token? I'll soon know when I exit this fucking level and realise. Oh, hang on a minute. I didn't get everything. But I need to go talk to Ham, don't I? Ah, that's the ticket. He's addicted. He's literally addicted to pizza. Buzz Lightyear is a major pizza lover. For sake. Let's go talk to Bo not Bo Peep, Jesse. That was way too excited. Look at that face. It's fucking terrifying. It's alright, I'll put a bag over your head. And uh you know, I'll put a Oh, I, I wanna look at the booty. Let me look at the I can sort of look at the booty. The cat, no, the cat. <laughs> Not yours, Buzz. I don't want to look at yours. That one will always, always come back, I guess. Even though I don't want to. No, I, I got them all. Okay, I got them all, apparently. That's alright. So we've done Al's Penthouse. We've done Elevator. This, this, this freaking do it. Level 12, Evil Emperor's are incredible, to be honest. Like, I don't, like the, the, the way his model is, he's like a 2D, 3D sprite. How do you beat it? You have to... I think you have to... F mm. Alright, you definitely have to spin, yeah. Well, that didn't work. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Why? What have I ever done to you, father? <laughs> Total Star Wars ripoff. <laughs> this is very fucking tedious. There we go. I don't. I, I literally don't know if this is the only the only way. We cut. Oh, okay, you don't have to do that. You just have to get close. I'm gonna sneeze now. <laughs> uh, come on. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna sneeze up bullets in a minute. Oh my god, he keeps moving. All right, hang on. Maybe we need to let him get in close. Then turn around and bam the cunt. Oh, maybe when he's shooting. Okay. No, uh, you can't jump. Oh, maybe I can... There has to be an easier way to do this. Oh, wait, you can fire the balls back at him? Okay, we're almost... Almost done. 
one more hit, one more hit for me and him, I think. Again. Oh yes! Get fucked, Zerg! Uh, oh god, that was good. That was a good way of beating him. Anyway, um, yeah, the, my, my favourite boss fight so far, my f oh, my f if, if we're talking the, the single boss fights, then I'll say the one at the beginning of the game. The one at the beginning of the game, the aeroplane, is the best one. If we're talking overall boss fights, then I'll probably say the one where it has all the tentacles and all the creatures come off. So, uh, yeah, this will probably be, this is probably, this is a good, this is a good one. To work. So, this, I am now about to step into territory that I have never done before. I have never ever ever beaten airport infiltration or the ending. I've only had my uh, cousin, I play, the only way I beat this game was my cousin. He pretty much played a lot of it and I just sort of finished it off. I never went through this from start to finish. So for me, this content coming up right now, Airport Infiltration, is completely brand new technically to me. I've never completed it. I have played it, but I've never done it properly. Uh, so, for, I, like I said, the last time I played this was 2012. I think we're on level 12 now, and I can't really remember level 13 or 12. So, we've done the Evil Emperor Zerg, Owl's Penthouse, Elevator Hop, Toy Barn Encounter, Owl's Space Land, Owl's Toy Barn, Slime Time, Alleys and Gullies, <laughs> Construction Yard, Bombs Away, Andy's Neighbourhood, and Andy's House. I've also got a cup of tea right next to me, it's a, and if you want to know the specifics and the details of it, it's kind of milky. It's a little bit milky. I do like it kind of weak and, and not too strong. Not sure the type of tea bag. And it's got one sugar in it. And let's just take a sip here. Oh god, it's fucking good. It's a good fucking cup of tea. It's getting a little bit cold now. <laughs> Technical difficulties as, as normal. But it's alright, so I've actually got a drink now prepared. Hopefully I won't accidentally do that too often and annoy everyone. <laughs> But anyway, because I want to, I have a glass desktop. Let's begin the playthrough. Let's not get copyright strike. Then. Oh yeah, it was level thirteen. I was close. I said, I think, I think, I think I said level twelve, but that's no, full thirteen. Airport infiltration. So this is. Whoa, whoa. This is new, newish, newish stuff for me. This. Let's collect these coins. Well, I don't know what. Why did he look away there? Why? Wait. Why is he? Why is he not looking on now? I just took so much damage, what the fuck? And enemies take a lot of hits now. Alright. We're clearing them out. So this is actually sort of accurate to the film, I guess. Oh, we've got a little... We've got a little guy that needs our... Attention, we can somehow get up there. Oh, I'm probably gonna. Alright, what I think we're gonna need there is hover boots. So I'm gonna leave them until we actually have them unlocked. Oh shit, okay, we have to line ourselves up here. Now I'm Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger, <laughs> Universe Protection. And completely miss. And now I've got something popping up on the screen that says about power. So hang on a sec, I don't know what the hell that's about. I don't know if you actually can see that. Okay, technical difficulty over. It was basically something popping up on my screen saying that my TV's about to turn off, but for no idea why, I literally just turned it on. I don't even know if you can. Oh, wait, hang on, maybe you have to be on here and get level. No time to lose! Okay. Oh, sometimes you just gotta use your brain. Look at this, look, look, it's, it's just ridiculous how accurate you've got to be. Now my TV's gone completely off. What the hell? My TV just turned off. Even though I clicked the button to stop the TV going off, it just turned itself off. Even though, even though it said press the button to stop it from going to standby, it still just instantly turned itself off. Get fucked. Get fucked, mate. It's kind of weird playing a game I've played in my childhood, but playing a level I do not really remember at all. Alright, we probably have to get up on top of there. And preferably not miss. Oh! 
How many hits did he take? Did you see how many hits he just took there? Like eight hits or something. Don't fall off, please. Jesus Christ. Okay, now. One platform's going one way, the other's going the other, that, that way. Alright, we've got 26 coins now. Not bad. Bad going. What? Whoa! That can't be fair. I keep forgetting to unlock when I'm jumping. I, I had it, but I let go. That's my fault, guys. Uh, oh my. Can't do it that way. Where the hell do I go now? Oh. Oh, that's not where I wanted to go. This is where save stating will uh, definitely come in handy. Let's put it that way. Like I say, I kind of want to try and do this as legitly as possible. If I can, of course. Well, do I actually... I, mu I must have to do it. I must not... I don't, I don't get what to do there. See, look, it, it fucking misses every single time. It's gonna like miss that. Space Unless that's not what I'm supposed to be doing. Unit. And now I'm right down to the bottom, so that's even worse. Hey, Buzz, if you can bring me five weights before you run out of time, I'll give you a pizza bag token. So I actually did need to fall down here anyway. There you go. Not bad. Found one. Where the hell's the other lot? There's two. I'm guessing some of them are in other rooms, so we probably already failed this. Oh well. Yeah, they are. They're in other rooms. Three hits from a green laser. Right, so we know one was in this room, we know two is in this room. Let's see if how many are in the other room. Sometimes things are trial and error and you can't always do it first, guys. There's no point in beating yourself up about it. Beating yourself up about it. Right. One over here. Still check around if okay, so there's another one. But I'm not sure where the last one is, unless it is like literally round here. I know what you have to do. Hey Bob, over here. Let's try and climb up here. I have a feeling there's probably one up here somewhere. then how the hell are you supposed to get there if you don't have the hover boots? So that doesn't make sense either. Well, I think we've established it's not here. Oh, I know where it could be. I'm going to try it straight away. There it is. Might as well do it this order now. And we've learnt where they're positioned and their place. Good shit. I've kind of given up on the other platform for the time being. Until I get the hover boots, I'm not doing something that's, that is more difficult than it needs to be. I reckon we do need the hover boots to get past that bit. So it's another troll. What the hell is all this on the floor? It's oil again? This person's obviously looking for them little... Five passengers. Sometimes you forget you do need to speak to people. That's one of the things, like, because you, you think that, oh, you don't need to speak to anyone. You go, oh, yeah, you do. Cause... Okay, what's this? Oh, we're going to have to push this. I think. Yep. Alright, so this should allow us to get on top of here. 
Jesus Christ, right. Got need eight more. Uh, well that didn't work. What the hell? No time to lose. What the? F but now I can't even get on it. Don't tell me this is another one for the hover boots. It looks like it might be. It might be another one for the hover boots. So once you've messed it up, that's it. Oh my god, this. Then there's some parts of it where you think, you know what? Fuck this. I I'm not gonna hit that because every time I hit that, yeah, there you go. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. Um. Okay. Where do I go now? Oh wait. Okay. There's a wire here. Oh my god. Fall now though, and I think it's all over. Was that it? Was that it? Just to find one of these little guys. All of this for that? That can't be. I can't. That cannot be it. Well, I'm happy I got it, but that can't be it. Now, Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger, Universe. Why would they have a system like this in real life anyway? All right, let's try in this. No, because I haven't got the Mr. Potato Head thing yet, so I don't even know. Let's get. Let's go back on here. Because <clears throat> we've already done this. No. Oh, there's... I need one more coin. I need one more coin. And then we can come back here. Alright, let's go and see him. Let's get this Pizza Flat token out of the way. I didn't even mean for that. I'm always quite lucky when it comes to ham and the pizza plant tokens. Yeah, sorry I have to keep doing this, but it, it works. And here's the, there's the last, not the last one, the second one. What am I talking about? Right, so we found two of them, so we're sort of learning sort of learning the locations of where things are, but then we got that room just a second ago that I can't actually do anything with. It feels like I've got so many rooms that I can't do anything with. Hmm, no hover boots, hmm, mouth. <laughs> he's lost his mouth. He's lost his mouth. Oh, I get it. In every level, he's lost something. Yeah, he has lost everything different, but they actually have that. That's brilliant. That's actually really brilliant. I know what you have to do. You can get to the token on top of the broken plane using the hover boots, Mr. Potato Head has them at his back of his luggage. Well, why don't he just give them to me? I've, I've literally helped him multiple times, and the level I most need help in, the son of a bitch has decided to not help me at all unless... <laughs> That'd be way too easy, wouldn't it? Well, there's obviously one thing up there. See, I don't know if it's an emulator, it's glitchy or buggy, but there's definitely one up there. Alright, this is reset now, I think. Oh, okay, I'm meant to climb on this. No, am I? No time to lose! Okay, there we go. No. Hell is, oh, there's his mouth. We need that. We need to get that mouth at all costs. So I'm not sure if I was meant to go on here, but I'm going to do it anyway. Why not? I'm Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger, Universe Protection Unit. Can you climb on that? Wait, hang on. Oh, come on. Come the fuck on, game. No, you can't. They literally have made it so you cannot jump on that. Okay, it just lets you grab it. See, that's the fucking thing about this game. Is it? Has, there's so much in it that it doesn't work that you don't trust it half the time. Looks like we got ourselves some bouncy boots. Awesome. Let's do it. 
We've done it, guys. We have unlocked the hover boots. He just looks like when he's dizzy. I don't know how long these last for. Uh, come on, come on. Whoa! Okay, I didn't expect this. Defeat the prospector boss to get a pizza planet token. Okay. Whoa! Whoa, 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 we were. Oh, wait, we're gonna probably have to. He's sound. I don't actually think that's his voice actor. <laughs> oh, fucking owned. Uh uh. Spam again. That's all you gotta do, guys, every time. Teabag the fat little cunt. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Wrong side. Camera turn, please. Wait, what? Oh, okay, here we go. Um, I fucking hit it. I hit it. It doesn't make any sense because I hit it. No, actually, what I did wrong is I'm going too high up to the top and I'm banging my head on it so it doesn't allow me to do it, which is a which is a design flaw in the game, I think. But there you go. Oh, that graphical glitch there. All right, so we've got the third one. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Can I guess we just have to climb this now? Okay, this is how we. Whoa! Literally dodged the whole thing, which I didn't expect. Like, not dodged the whole thing. Literally climbed over it. Oh my god. What? 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 I'm um, sky seriously, I think. I f oh, it was a fan that pushed me. Okay, that, that actually sort of makes sense on why I fell there. Annoying, but it what? But makes sense. No. Oh, wait, there's one over there. What? 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 Um. It won't let me. It won't let me go up any higher. We have to count our loss here. So we cannot jump that bit. They've, they obviously thought of that, so. Wow! Wow! That's such bullshit! That is such bullshit! Oh, my lord, we did it. And now we need to get back on, on Nine Buzz there. Lightyear Space Ranger Universe Protection Unit. No, oh my days. So now I can't even get the fourth. I, I need to get the fourth creature person. All right, we've got one. We just need one more. And I know where that one is. Space we Ranger, should get that. And then we'll be done with this level, I believe. There we go. And with that, guys, with that, 
I believe we are done. That was a hard level. That was definitely a hard level. We've unlocked all of it. We've unlocked we've unlocked all of the Buzz Like Your Power Ups and we did all the Peach Plant tokens. Believe me, guys, there was a few parts of me there that really did want to quit, quit that level as quick as I possibly could, because it's just... What, right, what did what was my favourite Pete's Plant? I think fighting Stinky Pete. That was pretty cool. I did like that. That was a pretty cool thing. I didn't expect it. I didn't expect him to be there, so that was weird. Um, I, I would have thought it would have been at the end of the game, so... Actually, it kind of sucks. If he's at, the, like, at that part, that's kind of... That's kind of shitty. We're on level 14 now, Tarmac Travel. Now, this is one that I have really no idea what I'm doing. Um, even more so. I, I think I completely skipped this level because, my, like I said, my cousin played through the game. So all I did was just go like that and just get to the end. So, um, yeah, let's, let's begin. Yeah. <laughs> just as I do that, we're about to get a... <clears throat> Jesse's looking mighty creepy there. <laughs> Whoa. Why, it's outside. It's actually... O it's actually open world. Well, let's take a few minutes to admire here. So it's similar to alleys and gullies. We've got the rain. The same kind of background and textures. So there's probably just reused assets there. And you can actually see the plane moving about. Holy shit, that is incredible for its time. I wonder how many people have played through this game and took the time to actually look at some of this stuff. Right, what's two, three, four, five, six? So I'm guessing that these things are numbered for a reason to help you remember where the hell you are. So we started off over here at four. Okay. I wonder how coins are going to be in this. So let's try and just get as many as we possibly can. Well, what the hell is that? Oh, do I have to collect this? Yeah, I do. I have to collect. I have no idea what it is. It's some sort of fucked up looking suitcase hopping about. Uh, next time I go on holiday, I'm going to make sure that my luggage is completely tied down. Yeah, these coins are going to be hard to find, I imagine, because of the way that this is so open world. But it's really cool, this is open world. Alright, so ham is near number five, so I'm going to... Oh shit, toxic waste. <laughs> so I'll have to remember that. Need some coins here, boys. Yeah, you get your, you'll get your shekels in a minute. Why did they do that for? What? What? I don't understand. Oh, okay, we can move about faster from this. For some reason, I completely missed that. Some random grass growing here. What are the odds of me ever being able to pick up that coin when I can't even do it standing... Standing still, you know. Well, that's how you do it. A double kill. Halo freestyle triple kill. Yeah, Halo 3 is one of my favourite uh, games of all time, if anyone wants to know. Halo 3 was absolutely incredible. So these allow you to get to your your destination quicker. Oh wait, hang on. Maybe to get up on top of these platforms up here, we're going to need to get on the plane. That's the only thing that I can think of there. I'm, I'm really doing bad with getting damaged. Come on, there's got to be some health around here somewhere. on the In this giant tarmac. I'm trying to just kill every enemy at this point, just to make sure that we've got, like, we've almost got 30 coins now, so it's kind of proof that that was probably a good idea, uh, good thinking, like, thinking ahead. Quite funky music, isn't it? I don't know what kind of music this is, like, elect Electro or something? Oh, that's getting quite tedious. Right, let's see what Rex has to say. What you do. I think I saw Ham in Zone 5. Yeah, I think I saw him as well, Rex. Thanks for giving the most use useless fucking information. There's an actual helicopter that could be right.
can we ride the helicopter? This level is pretty sick so far. Can I climb up these poles? Yeah, I can. Okay. That's cool. Oh, hello. Hello, didn't expect didn't expect you to be here. Anything to click in here? No. And the rain is coming through the freaking can canopy. What the hell? Come on. Why is, why is he stuck here? Right. Need a... Need to get a light. I thought I meant to get up there so I can get up. Right, let's go to the middle now. Let's go to the middle of the airfield. Oh my god, the inverted setting is so annoying. And I don't think there's a way of taking that off, the inverted camera. I bet there's literally only... Oh, wow, well, okay. So this is all touched, I'm going to have to walk. Oh, I'm, oh, Slinky! It's been a while since I've seen Slinky. Since we've, we've seen Slinky. <laughs> you, you saw me die. <laughs> yeah, Slinky's literally just witnessed Buzz getting absolutely slaughtered. You're probably thinking, Gabby, young Gabby, what a fucking retard. <laughs> Bye, Buzz, I just saw you die. You were such a retard. That was, if you can reach the end of this path by jumping or touching the green slime, I will give you a pizza plant so you can wait. What? Can I, ju can I just jump? Oh, I bet it won't let me jump, will he? I can only... I can only do this. Son of a bitch. Oh, you got... Can I, uh, let's see if we can jump it. Let's see if we can just jump straight along it. See if it'll, if it'll know about the programming. No it, no, it knows the moment you jump. Smart. This is smart. This is tedious. <laughs> this is fucking stupid. You're probably not allowed to jump even once. Oh my god, someone's banging next door. Someone's got a hammer and they're banging next door and it put me off. I'm not even kidding. It, just, it literally has just distracted me enough to put me off my concentration. There's going to be a lot of this camera. What? Oh my god, I don't... The, like I said, I'm on an Xbox... If you guys don't know and you're just coming into it, I'm actually playing on an Xbox 360 controller on the PC PlayStation emulator. Now I'm jumping and I'm just doing stuff by default. <laughs> I knew that this would. <laughs> I knew that this was gonna be bad, but I didn't know how bad this was gonna be. This is fucking shit. This is probably my work, my least favorite Pizza Planet token of the game, because this one requires you to literally need to do this whole thing perfectly. So we we've got to be getting near the end of the game because it's getting. Well, of course it's near the end of the game. It's the airport level, and what am I talking about? And there can't be much more to go, surely. He's also like he's on ice. He moves a couple of inches more than what you want him to. And now I'm probably going to be attacked. You don't have a lot of time to do this. You have a minute to do this. Now or never, I guess. Are you... Are you... <laughs> I'm going to go insane, guys. I'm going to go insane. The thumbsticks are not precise enough and it's like he's on ice. It's hard to explain it's hard to explain the movement of the character unless you're playing it. There's input delay as well, as as then he doesn't stop instantly, he slightly moves forward a couple of inches, which is retarded. Thank fuck for that. Let me climb this pole. Uh, oh, we can probably climb the one next to it, yeah. <laughs> Apparently you can't climb the big one. But you can climb the little tiny dinky pokey one. 
And I'm guessing this is how we get... I don't know why this plane hasn't taken off yet either. It's just literally going round and round in a circle for whatever reason. We'll see if there's anything on the plane. Oh, yeah, there's a little suitcase. That was extremely buggy. Okay. Okay. That did not work how I wanted it to. And this is glitchy as shit. Look at this. Right, here we go. This is very glitchy. It's a shame because it's obviously a good thing they can't like win, but it's just glitchy. Um, what was I wrong about this? Well, I, I won't know. I won't ever know because apparently I fell off randomly. Oh wait, maybe we can. No. There must be something on there though. I oh, thank God we can actually reset. Okay, we'll try and get back on the arm when it comes round. So you only need one more of them, which is pretty cool. Come on, get me to zone seven because I think that's where I can jump. Jump it. Oh my days, that was close. Okay, looks like there could be a boss or something down here. I'm not sure what this is. It could be a mission. Let's get these coins first. And some health. Let's see if there's anything around here to collect. Nope, I don't know what this guy's doing up here. Ha ha ha, defeat the blacksmith. Okay, blacksmith boss. I would like to beat it like more epically, but it seems like the best way to do it is to just not give a damn and spam him. Can wait, wait, hang on. When he's firing the hammer at you, can we turn that round on him? No, that, that's stupid. That, was, that would have been a really good gameplay design. That when he slams the hammer down on the ground and the thing chases you, that you could have just sent it back on him. That would have been cool. Okay, game. Right, so we only need nine more. Nine more coins. So that should be... Can I jump back onto the the arm when it comes around? Or will that be a waste of time? What can we talk about while we're waiting? Uh, I spy with my little eye something beginning with P. Anyone know, anyone know what it could be? I spy my eye something beginning with C. See if anyone can get that one as well. I spy my eye something beginning with... TS. I spy with my life and beginning with uh, MG. <laughs> if anyone will get that one, I have mentioned it in the past episodes. I spy with my life and beginning with. Apparently now it's invisible, but it was H. See so if you can get that one. Well, yeah, I think it's better to just go on the pole. But even that flag in the background over there, that's... Yeah, it's too quick. Oh yeah, it most certainly would have done. Okay, note to self, pay attention at all times when on the aeroplane because you're falling off for literally no reason, even though you're not moving at all. Okay. Right, what's eight? I go like this so I can see better what's... Right, so we will come back for that because we need that, obviously. So let's do the helicopter one first, if we can. Oh, dude! Oh no! What the hell is this? What the hell is it? Oh, hang on. Use the buttons to change the t bottom row of lights to match the top row of lights. The puzzle will reset if you take more than three tries. If you complete the puzzle, the helicopter will move down so you can reach the big planet token. Alright, now I'll get these coins first. I'll get, I'm psyching myself up mentally for that. Wait, 
Yeah, it's, it's just there. Why can't I just... Why can't I use the grappling hook, huh? I've got the grappling hook, so what's the point of doing that bullshit? And you can't ride it, that's kind of a shame. I thought you'd be able to uh, ride the helicopter. Alright, so let's have a look here. They need to match the top. Buzz Lightyear to start top. command. Come in, I forgot actually now what, what it was. Use the button to change the bottom row of lights to match the top row of lights. I don't get that for some reason. So you need a red one. We need a red one at the top. And a, a blue one at the top as well. What? Well, they, this makes literally no fucking sense. Alright, we almost done it. Just need a green one. This this makes no sense. I don't get this one. Actually, I literally don't get it. Yellow, red. Like I got to match to them. Do I have to change them or match them? Use the buttons to change the button bottom row of lights to match the top row of lights. Oh, I, I think I sort of might get that now. Okay, so we need blue. We need blue and green. And then green and yellow. Okay, never mind. Wait, wait, hang on, so. Like that. Think. Did that do anything? Buzz Lightyear to Star Command. Come in, Star Command. Right, so we've reset it. Okay, let's try and get it. Green, green, yellow. What would make the top one yellow as well? Apparently not. Apparently yes. Apparently that one worked. Apparently that didn't work. I literally fucking have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing here. This is retarded. And the camera is dog shit. No time to lose. One, so that counts as one. I, it worked, apparently. Apparently that worked. I literally have no idea what I just did. I literally just guessed. If someone could explain to me in the comments what I was supposed to do or how that made sense or how that worked, please do, because I've got no idea. But I'm not going to argue. We got it. And there's a coin here, and then that should be 50 coins. No, that's a battery. We literally only need one more coin now. There we go. Let's go zone 5. I think that's where he is. That's the ticket. Here you go, fuzzy boy. And then we should be on the final. Is there a way to actually see what tokens you've earned? I don't think there is. I can't remember where it was. So at the minute I'm just trying to search all the zones out. Oh, there it is. Is it? Is it? Thanks for finding my luggage. Oh, okay, it was. Right, thank God for that. <laughs> So let's make sure we got everything. Boom, 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 and boom. Good shit. We got all five. So it's the final showdown. It's the it's the final. We're literally on the final. It is the final showdown. Something I have never, ever, ever done. I'm about to do. In 2012, I never actually successfully managed to do this 100% legit. I have not once used a save state. I did use a frame limiter during elevator hop to be able to get you know to it was faster but i haven't done anything to cheat in like make my job easier and when it comes to the final showdown i've never actually done this i never put, completed the playthrough so this is going to be something for me that is really interesting to see I, I don't know who the final boss is going to be because we beat stinky pete in the elevate uh, the 
So I don't know what the he- what the hell this is going to be about, unless this is rescuing Woody. Oh, okay, it is going to be the Prospector. Oh well, what the hell? Buzz, not Buzz. Wo- Woody, Jesse. I'm getting identity. Oh my god, he's fucking ugly. Keep him. Keep him. He's ugly. We don't fucking need him. Okay, I've got three for. Holy shit. I've got three to deal with. Oh god, the plane's moving. The plane's moving about. Talk about a final showdown. This is a. Oh my god! This is exciting. Okay, we need to back up here a sec. Who said that? Oh, he's gone. He's down. Right. I'll get this guy next. That is no way to treat the collectible. I want to. I want Stinky Pete to be the final one I go against. We've got enough lives to do this. That is no way to treat the collectible. Come on, come on. It's you and me now. It's you and me. Bring it on. That is no Bring way. it on. Fat Uncle Brian looking monster. You will give me back my friend. You will let me have pussy from Jesse. <laughs> and he done it. <laughs> oh God, keep him. He's ugly. Jesus Christ. That is a terrifying looking Woody. And we did it. We fucking done it. That was more easy than I thought it would be. But that was pretty cool. I really actually enjoyed that. That was a really good... I did not expect to fight three bosses that I'd previously fought. I thought I'd killed them. I thought I'd literally destroyed them. Well, hang on a minute. Why wasn't Zerg at the end, technically? When you really think about it, you would think that Zerg would have been uh, the final one of them. The game won. I done it. We done it, guys. <laughs> yes, Jesse, we done it. Um... Okay. Congratulations. Congratulations. You have completed Toy Story 2, Traveler's Test. Okay, that was cool. We'll skip the credits. We don't, we don't need to see the credits. Hopefully it's saved. Did it save? Please tell me it saved. Like, it saved my progress there and it's not going to reset it. Let's just skip through all these uh, credits and title scenes a second. Um, it might have done that. It might have actually reset the game. Yeah, it has. So it looks like I can't 100% the game. For some reason, the way this game worked there is if, like, because I completed it, you can't you can't go back and do what you wanted to do. I don't know. Wait, I did save though, didn't I? Hang on. Hang on a sec. Let's just check. Let's load the game. Upload. Okay. Yeah, 45 tokens. I saved it, so it should, we should be able to do it. That, that's stupid, though. I was getting worried there. I was like, oh, here we go. What, what now? I've got to play for it all again. So it technically hasn't carried on the final show, but we have. So you guys now, you can leave. You can, if you want to continue watching, you can. But there, you know, there's really no point if you don't want to. So we are going to go back and we are going to finish all of the Pizza Planet tokens that we did not uh, have a chance to do in the other, uh, at the beginning of the game. But now we've unlocked everything. We can now do it. Okay. I think this is how we do it. I'm not quite sure. I'll be a little bit more patient. There we go. Slow and steady wins the waste. Think. Anyway, where the hell is it? Where the hell is it? Oh, there it is. I was getting worried. Where the fucking hell is this little? There we go. It's quite clearly my brain is not uh, interested in in doing this successfully. There we go. Okay, that thing literally just tracked me in the air. There we go. 
I need one more. Where's the final? I don't want to be in the way with my laser. Board. There we go. We've got it. We've got them all. Um, Tarzan, uh, Tigger's Honey Hunt, maybe Ukulele. That sort of thing. I do. Pl I do plan and play beyond. quite a few games. A Hat in Time, Tinker, Color City of Lost Colors. But mostly platformers. So that's the kind of stuff I want to do. I missed one still. Let's go and ask him. He might say, "Yeah, you you can get a pizza planet token from there now." Aha! See, I knew it! I see, I knew it! Right, remember that, guys. That one you can literally get right at the beginning of the game, I think. We've got less time to get it, though. And I've already messed it up. Yeah, I've already messed it up. That probably wasn't the best idea there, Connor, but okay. Yeah, we've got it now. And we're done, guys. We're done. Good stuff. We actually, actually did it. And beyond. I most certainly have never got that Pizza Planet token, but I had a feeling that you know it, there wasn't just a chick involved in that one. Like you get the chick, and then there's a token in it. And I was correct. I was correct with that. With that brain power there. So we're back. We're, we're going back now. We've gone. So the way I, I kind of get it, like I think maybe the game wanted you to go back. And do this in this roundabout way to this to this degree. Grappling one first. Just kill this guy. Okay. There we go. Um. Okay. I don't know how you you're meant to get that coin, and I don't even know if you're meant to climb on the side of it. Well, this is pretty cool. You know what, maybe I'll take it back. This actually makes this level a lot more better, in my opinion. Because this level always was kind of small, but this actually makes it quite large, I guess, if that makes sense. And it's responsive. That's a that's a really good thing. That that this whole thing feels responsive when you're grabbing stuff and that. So it's obvious that they put a lot of work into this for the late for the later parts or whatever. And there's the last duck. No time to lose. Fucking grab the, the little fucker. Oh well, that, that's not exactly what I wanted to do, but that was my my fault there, to be honest. Yeah, I'm much more enjoying this level. With this section to it, I always used to find it really boring. But yeah, I'm, I'm actually I'll take it back. This is definitely not with this with this bit to it and coming back to it like this. It, I actually am enjoying it. So if you guys don't like this level too much, try and play when you've got this unlocked, the hook, the grappling hook unlocked. Okay, you have to go along here. Oh crap. Everything does feel kind of response, but responsive though, which is really good. Although well, that's not good. Yeah, that's not good. Ooh. 
Okay, let's get back to where we were and this time try and not uh, let the electric hit us. Because that's what I did, I just stayed on it for too long. So that was sort of my fault as well there. <laughs> wow, that was close. I said that was inches, I set it a mid microsecond close. Um, oh, there's another duck there. Okay, here we go. Hopefully this will be it now. Why is there so many coins up here? There, there is no reason for coins to be up here because you would have, you would have already done it. So there's no point for coins to be up here. The developers literally put coins up here for no reason. Okay, this is kind of creepy. How do you defeat this guy? Wow, that is creepy. No wonder I never wanted to fight this boss as a kid. Who's gonna win? I, I got a higher spin than you, man. I got upgrades. What have you got? You got fuck all. What I bought. B Tech Joker. Keep on playing, keep on playing. We've got the duck somewhere. Almost exited out then. But we can now safely go to the bottom, the ground floor. Well, safely, but we can we can do this, I guess. And that almost fell off there as well. Oh my god. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Look at this. That's what I'm talking about. Awesome. Thank you, developers. Thank you. Thank you for making something for us gamers that was not a piece of shit for us to deal with. It actually helped us out a lot. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. One duckling. No, oh, here, actually. Let's see if the lives reset when you come back to the levels. I very much doubt they would. Oh, they do. So technically, you could just keep coming back and farming the same level. Uh, the same... Yeah, the, to farm the same level to get lives. If you did it five times, you'd have five lives. Not bad. Well, not it's not very good. You know, a bit of an exploit, but okay. There we go. We're done. We're done. We are done. I never want to come back to this level ever again. I know that when I'm doing my Nintendo 64 version of this game, it's, I've got to do all this again, but that won't be for a... I've decided I'm not going to do that for a year or more, so I have time to forget about this game. <laughs> so I can, when I'm replaying it, so this will be in a couple of years' time I'll do the Nintendo 64 version. And if I do get the chance, like I said, I'll try the PC version and as well. Beyond. But I don't have a computer old enough or, or the knowledge of how to get it to run, so... Sick. Here we go. The last Pizza Planet token. 50 to collect in the entire game. Okay, let's do it. But maybe let's not do it. I think I've messed it up, to be honest. Oh, please, please don't let that not count. So you can just do that. You don't even have to at all worry about getting the power up for this. We should be good now. Wow, we should be good now. And we've done it! We've done it, guys! We Look have 100 percented the entire to game. Infinity and beyond! Yes. Two infinity playthroughs and beyond! 
So I very much thank you guys for sticking with the entire playthrough towards if, if you you know you you actually stayed watching the rest of the video that that would really really appreciate that. So that's a uh, what can I say? It, it means a lot to me that you guys would stick through to the entire end. But if you guys have never seen those bosses before, uh, the clown one and the those those sections of those levels you're not used to seeing, or how you did, how you did them, and now you know. So. We have 100%ed the entire game. I'm pretty sure every single thing has been has been done. I can't believe I actually managed to uh, get five on each of these. That was really surprising to me. So thank you guys for watching. It was a long journey. It was a very, very long journey. It took two days to complete this game. I probably could have done it in one day, but it got late. It got up to about nine o'clock, half nine or whatever it was, and you know I can't. Do videos like that because I live in council house and you make too much noise you get kicked out so anyway thank you guys for watching please let me know in the comments below what your favorite level of this game was what your favorite piece of music from this game was what your favorite boss fight from this game was what your least favorite but what your favorite of everything to your least favorite of everything I really do want to know because it's a for me my absolute favorite level of the entire game is probably Andy's Neighbourhood. I really do like Andy's Neighbourhood. I think it's really cool. But also, I would say it was um, Al's Penthouse. So Al's Penthouse is probably my my ultimate favourite. And, and my top three would be Andy's House, Andy's Neighbourhood, and then finally Al's Penthouse. Al's Penthouse being the, the best one. My least favourite levels: Elevator Hop, uh, Al's Space Land, and Alleys and Gullies. I hate them levels. I hate them more than the new levels I just played that I didn't think were that brilliant, but they were quite good. And the showdown was brilliant, so I did enjoy the showdown. Uh, my favourite boss, my entire favourite boss of the whole game, was probably uh, Toy Barn Encounter. That was really quite cleverly done, in my opinion. Um, they should have maybe, for the final showdown, had all the bosses. Every single boss you fought should have been at the end. This would be just three bosses that were similar to each other. Didn't really make a lot of sense, but at least they tried to do something pretty cool there. Anyway... Please subscribe, like, and comment. Uh, leave a, also a comment on what playthrough you'd like to see me do next. Like I said, I want to do Rugrats Search for Reptile, Rugrats in Paris. I want to do uh, Sheepdog and Wolf, Sheep Raider, depending on how you, uh, what country you're in. Um, just pretty much anything. Anything 3D, anything platformer, anything retro. I I'll, I'll do as much as I possibly can. Tarzan, you name it, I'm going to try and do it. So thank you for sticking me through 2018 Toy Story on the PlayStation 1 emulator for the PC with my Xbox 360 controller with shit for the entire thing. Thank you very much and I appreciate your support now and in the future. Goodbye.